Hello everyone. You know who this is. Yet you have absolutely no idea. Of course. Wow. Somebody gonna be famous. Real famous. <laughs> I sit here writing to you now with my exceptionally long penis buried deeply and normally into my vagina butt. Isn't that neat? Charlie Hunter 77 has joined the game. Call 911. This place needs to be swatted. It's obnoxious. You have a bully head ball. You don't find people being bullied into suicide on 4chan. I mean, this is ridiculous. Okay, if he says any more bad words, I'm gonna hang up on him. He doesn't own Key Farm, and he died last night. A little kid named Moon owns Key Farm. How do they make this more and more epic every time? I'm sorry, I'm a soy-filled bitch with like videos. Hey, hey, hey! If we get Donald Trump just to tweet out, I mean, you know, just a tweet that mentions the hashtag game again, it, it doesn't even necessarily matter how we use it. Man, the blue check marks are going to shit their fucking hats. It's 2019, I can't believe anybody believes in a fucking ball of water. True. I bet you when Jim finds out, he's gonna just give me so much shit. One never knows when the homosexual is about. I've had over 1,000 rejections in real life, 2,000 rejections online, so that's 3,000 rejections total. I aim as well as possible. I aim for obese women, ugly women, ideally ugly and obese. I would do anything just for a 300-pound ugly white girl. I said it's not even hot you are not allowed to bring him to the hospital. No. No, you get no permission to fucking do it. You gotta be kidding. It's, it's just like this declaration. This declaration, right, of male dominance. Uh, put that in your pipe. I definitely cheated on Super Mario with Sonic the Hedgehog. Stop doing this stuff. He's like the blue uh, seductress who takes me out into the night and does wonderful things to me. Enough! Stop! How can a Yorkshire Terrier live in the wild? It's in plain sight, but you just don't see it. You know what I mean? Oh, well, good morning, my little chud buds. Hopefully this is actually working out. I have no idea. You know, I planned to do uh, Acer Thorn stream, but I didn't test out any of this shit. I have no idea how how Odyssey works, if it's even fucking workable. Well, can I can I get a, a nerds rise up in chat? Can we get that? Can we, can, can we get a, a nerds rise up in chat? Is that possible? Are we allowed to say that over here? I don't know. Oh, boy, I hope the audio is coming through. I hope it's the Baked Alaska voice is back. That's not right. The Baked Alaska voice shouldn't be back. Let me, my audio should be good. I'm seeing, I'm seeing nerds rise up. I'm seeing that in chat. Oh boy. My, my little chud buds. Look at me over here as a 280 Andy. Oh, I feel fucking dirty. Oh, I got that grimy f dirt on me. I feel like Ethan Ralph right now. I'm going to start eating poop. 290 people watching. Just 290, 290 Andy over here on Odyssey. Oh, if the Rage Pig was awake right now, he'd be truffle shuffling with his quad tits swaying in the wind. He'd be a happy little fucking pig, wouldn't he? Oh, it feels, feels kind of nice. feels a little bit like it was on Stream Me. Now, if Odyssey ever does like a uh, contest where they pay streamers to fight each other to the death, then it'll be just like Stream Me, where everybody gay ops each other and uh, sabotages one another until the whole site implodes. <laughs> because uh, people can't fucking just relax and let shit happen. This is going to be a nice laid back stream. I pushed Acer Thorn uh, to next week because I want to test this out. But don't worry. Don't worry. If you're looking at that title, we've got something entertaining today. We're going to go on a deep dive investigation. 
should give you a hint, Twitter. Town Trouble. And it's not about kerfuffle. It's about another complete fucking psychopath. Now, I don't know if there's some dedicated troll. They might be. Or they might actually be completely batshit fucking insane. One or the other. Dedicated troll that's been trolling for 12 plus years, building up that backstory. Or they're an absolute fucking psychopath. Could be, could be one or the other. I'm not sure. I don't know uh, if donation works on this site. I don't know how any of that shit works over here. Uh, I'll make sure to whore myself out real good uh, in the future for the bits and bobs or whatever the fuck they do over here. Maybe get like an Entropy or Streamlabs. I'm not sure. I'm going to be honest. I've been on YouTube so long, I don't remember how it works on other places. Aside from like Stream Me and DLive. But I don't think they give us lemons over here. I don't know what they call their shit over here. Oodles? Do you, do you collect Oodle? Is that the name of their fucking crypto over here? Oodles? Oodles on Odyssey? Do they even have the crypto anymore over here? I'm pretty sure this is like a some kind of weird gay, like gay marriage between Odyssey and Library. But one's been beaten severely in the domestic uh, uh, relationship. And is now like a, a battered husband fucking shelter. Like Library got fucked in its ass and then slapped in its face. And now it's now it's gone. Oh, I got an oodle from Hale Honkler. It's similar to lemons. Well, that's good to know. Point my point one oodles. I'm a, I'm gonna be a rich man. Three hundred and fifty people watching point one oodles. Oh, it's going great. Now I posted this up on um post, huh? And uh, Chad butts, because uh, I I didn't know if this was gonna implode. To be honest with you, I did a test stream earlier today. It did not seem to go well. So I don't know how this one will go. Everybody always bitches that the fucking audio and video cuts out. But we're gonna we're gonna take it nice and easy. Oh, thank you, chat, for all your fucking oodles. Uh, here's the donation from Maximum Fun Posting. Great. Virla, oh girl, uh, get them library points. Oh, is that what they're called? Library points. Look at all the oodles rolling in. I don't know what that converts to. Is that real people money? Is that monopoly money? Is anybody aware? Does anybody fucking know? Autism puzzle pieces. Well, it, it seems to fit. All right. Uh, I hope you like the little... Oh, am I using the background video? Or, or the, Okay, that's a little background video made by Of Interest over on uh, Post and Chud Buds. Made that for the stream. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Mornings with Medicare. Medicare in the mornings. Odyssey. Uh, oddities is a good one, too, I guess. I'm not sure. We'll see if this even lasts. We'll see if Jimmy Boy even has it in him to keep doing it. Oh, where should we start? Let's let's start with something a little fun before we start talking about crazy Twitter that you know cut their dicks off. Um, <laughs> that is fun too. But let's start with our boy. I'm talking about Michael Deep Cover Alberto. He's getting in a little trouble. The operations having a little bit of a, a kerfuffle for him. A little bit of a little bit of difficulties. Seems like they might have found him out. I hate to say it, boys, but I think our, our deep cover agent, Mr. Michael Alberto, is a little bit of fucking trouble here. Now, as you know, his YouTube was copyright struck. Uh, that be that is, hello, Michael Alberto. Due to copyright takedown notice we received, we had to take your video down from YouTube. Not sure why they take that video down. That video title seems pretty fair to me. Five foot one obese alcoholic reacts to Mr. Medicare's chat. Takedown issued by Ethan Ralph. Could that be said? Five foot one obese alcoholic? Ding, ding, ding. I think it is, chat. Ethan Ralph has been sent out to stop the Alberto Commission because it's getting too much attention. He's digging too deeply. I don't know if you know this about Michael. He puts on a bit of a front. Makes you think he likes to play with Legos. You know, likes to put it out there that he's Mr. MLP Brony. He's all laid back and shit. Turns out Michael uh, is a bit of a, a cunt. He doesn't take shit from anybody. Well, everybody on Cozy TV is bending the knee right now to Nick Fuentes. Uh, Michael's whipping out some big dick energy and just dragging it across Nick's face, which he probably likes. Without having a dick drug across his face, it's probably something Fuentes loves. But let's take a look. This is from a few nights ago in the text, uh, the little little chat window. Michael was dropping some fucking bombs. It's going nuclear on No Views, Nick. Look at this shit. 
kill yourself, Nick, you fat. And that's a check mark. Chat, you can see that, right? It says, Michael Alberto, kill yourself, Nick, you fat. Oh. Michael, what are you doing? You can't tell your boss that. Michael, 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 no, that's dangerous. Shouldn't say such mean things. He wasn't done, though. Like, he got, he got angry. He got all riled up and shit. Wanted to teach some people a fucking lesson. Shut the fuck up, Nick. You're a test tube homunculus whose father is a turkey baster. Oh, Michael, what the fuck are you doing? You can't go around calling Nick a test tube homunculus whose father is a turkey baster. I wish I had captured more of this, but he went into great detail talking about how Nick's mother had to have had to have that semen delivered into her vagina. Like, he took a medical approach, step by step, talking about how they harvested the semen from his father with a uh, medical grade, as he put it, medical grade turkey baster, and shoved it right up her fucking c***. Then, then there was some th something about satanic chanting. I'm not sure why that was there. That doesn't sound very scientific. And then a little Nick was born. A little soulless scientific Nick. Created by science, not by God. This this man you see on screen, this isn't, this isn't, the light of Christ is not in him. He was made in a laboratory. The same people that come up with fun additives for your food invented the medical equipment that made him come to life. Of course, that's according to Michael Alberto. That's, that's what Michael said. Then, then as if that wasn't enough, like he's just talking all the shit to Nick, calling him a little fruitcake fat limp-wristed bitch, just going on and on about it. Then then Michael fires up a stream. Look at the title of this. Nick Fuentes is my bitch. Fuck that gay name. What? Michael Alberto, deep cover, what are you doing? You can't be deep cover if you're making fun of his views at 6200. And then you call him your little bitch. And tell him, tell him to fuck off. He's a gay name. Chet, what do you, th do you think? Michael's losing it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, but like I know you guys think, oh, oh, this is Jim. You're just you're fucking with us, right, Jim? You're just making stuff up. Jim makes stuff up. I heard Ethan Ralph said that Jim makes stuff up. Ethan Ralph doesn't have AIDS. He does. Ethan Ralph has AIDS. That's why he was losing weight. Okay, scientifically fucking proven. But I know, oh, Jim. Jim makes stuff up. He's trying to be funny. Ha ha, Jim. We don't believe you. Okay, then explain this. Michael Alberto told the whole audience on his stream, I want to show you how big a group of fans the people at Cozy are. Talking about their half-naked tickle fights and shit. And he's like, I want to play this video for everybody. And he sent it to me. And he's like, Jim, should I play this fucking video on stream? And I'm like, dude, I don't know, man. That's going pretty hard. But then he's like, fuck it, I'm doing it anyway. Your headset. I'll come over there and slap your fucking dumper. It is oh true. I would tear your little uh, we're all right. <laughs> dumper up, big fat dumper. He's playing a rumper dumper video live on Cozy. Now, I know maybe you couldn't see it, you know, because he sent it to me, and then he was like, "Jim, if you post it, then I can play it." So I was like, "Okay, you know, okay." But this is a video he sent to me. He's like, "Would you look at these fucking?" Fa I'll come over there and slap your fucking dumper. It is That's true. I would tear true. your little dumper up, big fat dumper, which I'm going to be spanking around. Uh, and I'm going to fucking spank that little dumper. Like, what is that video? I don't know. Michael, he said he spent like a half an hour editing it. And he's like, I just like to mock fans. He said, That's my purpose in life. Michael Alberto was like, I live to fucking dunk on fans. That's what he said in the text chat. I can't believe it. He's like, I pretend to like MLP and Legos just so I can get close to fags so I can just spit in their face. And he's like, when I saw this video of Nick Fuentes talking about wanting to eat ass, that's the rumper dumper stuff, he's like, it disgusted me on a level, on a deep primal fucking level, beyond religion. Like on a human level. He's like, I don't know what's with these guys and the shit eating over here, but they are dumper pumping and rumper humping like there's no fucking tomorrow. I mean, I think we need to he put work into this. I think we need to look at it one more time. I'll come over there and slap your fucking dumper. It is That's true. I would tear true. your little dumper up, big fat dumper, which I'm going to be spanking around. Uh, and I'm going to fucking spank that little dumper. Spank that little dumper. 
uh, I mean, if you can believe it, I know Nick uh, has basically everybody on a leash over there. But after Ethan Ralph saw this video, he was so disgusted by it. Remember, this is a man that eats shit. But Ethan Ralph was so disgusted with Nick Fuentes after finding, you know, like watching Alberto stream and having Alberto talk about how much of a fat he was that uh, that Ethan did this. Nick Fuentes, the eternal fat. Now, I know that's that. I wish I had a longer clip, but he like took it down out of shame. So I'll replay it a few times in a row over and over again, just so you can hear it. Nick Fuentes, the eternal fat. 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 How could Ethan Ralph say that? That's his boss. Real audio, 100%. Ride or die shit, chat. Ride or die shit. So here's, here's Michael Alberto calling these people disgusting, subhumans. And then there's Ethan Ralph calling his boss the man that pays his bills an eternal fat. I mean, it's un, it's undeniable. Chat, it's undeniable. That is real, true, 100% audio. Now, I see I got a lot of oodles, but somebody actually gave me dollars. I didn't know we could do this. All right, have some shekels on me, you shekel or it. Well, thank you, Polly. Is that $10 to celebrate the fact that Ethan Ralph is finally stepping out of the shadow of Fuentes and saying what everybody's thinking? That this man is addicted to eating homosexual assholes? <laughs> the Nick Fuentes lives to truffle hunt himself? Do you think Ethan and Nick have contests to see how much poop can be consumed? Now, I know Nick goes around talking about vomiting up McDonald's, and I think we're all pretty much under the impression that it's a traumatic event from his childhood. Some have speculated he got ass-fucked by an employee dressed as Ron McDonald <laughs> at a child's birthday party. I'm not the one saying that, though. However, it could just be his homosexual urges are just so fucking strong. He eats so much ass every day that when he gets home to his lonely little apartment, he just vomits it all up. Projectile shit vomit all over the walls. Tears streaming down his eyes. Just, just heartbreaking. But I wonder, do you think, do you think him and Ethan have shit eating contests? Like, do you think that's what's going to happen at Ralph Mania or maybe the uh, midlife crisis sleepover slumber party at Ali Jamal's house? Are they going to put down like a trough? You know how they feed pigs, right? It's a fucking trough. Because pigs don't eat like animals. Ask Ethan. So do you think when they all get together for their next event, I want you to imagine, there's Ollie Jamal, half brain dead and retarded, baked Alaska, making sure his wire taps working, Beardson's there, wearing the newest bootleg Yeezy shoes he bought because he wants to impress his goth gas station girlfriend. Dalton is tap dancing through the living room. Because Mama might be watching and he needs to have that sequence glove on and moonwalk or Mama's going to be mad. And in the middle of it all, in the middle, dead center, you might be, wait, wait, where's Dick Masterson? His knees exploded. He didn't make it. But right in the middle of it all is a giant fucking trough. And there's Ethan Ralph on his hands and knees. Took him a while to get down there. Cracked a little bit of the floorboards doing it. But he got there. Tits swaying in the wind. Bifurcated gunt dragging on the ground. And right next to him, a half-naked Nick Fuentes, licking his lips. And all the guys that showed up for this uh, this slumber party or ralph -a mania event, whichever, whichever venue it takes place at, have shit in the trough for these two gentlemen. And they're just chowing down. It's mealtime. It's mealtime at Cozy. America first. America first means Nick Fuentes feeds first. He's number one when it comes to eating number twos. That's what it means. All right, this is a record he has to protect, a championship belt that he has... Uh, had made for himself, loving, lovingly crafted. And he and Ethan Ralph are competing. God, you know, I've gotten 15 minutes and I forgot to say, Nick. oh, it feels so nice to be on a website where you can do that. Can I get another nerds rise up and chat? Is that possible? Can we get another nerds rise up and chat? Ethan, Ethan Ralph, the eternal AIDS hog? Well, yes. Ralph will put AF and Twitter first every time. I believe he will. I believe he will. Play this song as the outro you know. While well, you gave me one oodle, I don't know how good your song is if it's only one singular oodle. A lot of nerds rise up in chat. Percival is uh, dancing right now from the depths of hell. He went to hell. <laughs> A little bit of lore background on that show. Here's what people don't know. Uh, Percival was a prolific serial killer. Everybody let him get away with it because he's a little kid. 
but one day the ship backed up on him. So he's burning in hell right now. But in hell, Percival, our boy, is doing a little little dance. He's very happy. Every time he sees the nerds rise up, Percival does a little cheer in the pits of fire down there. I like how people, you can tell the the difference between, you know, uh, this website and others. Everybody shortens, when I say can I get an NNRU, right, nerds rise up, everybody shortens the RU part of it, but they spell out fully nerd. Oh, it's been, it's been like four years since we could say that. Still one of the best super chats uh, anybody's ever fucking sent <laughs> during any stream ever. Uh, I, I can't remember exactly who it was, but well done. Well done with your nerds rise up. Oh, can, oh, chat. We're now at 560 Andy. I'm a 560 Andy chat. I'm doing, whew, feeling pretty good. 560 Andy boys. And I'm rolling in oodles. <laughs> I'm rolling in 32 oodles. 560 Andy. My God, I'm, I'm almost at an Ethan Ralph level of doing a show. And I've only advertised on post. I suppose we could talk for a moment about the uh, most recent drama going on at Post. Because who doesn't love talking about drama? It is the internet. It's much more fun to talk about drama when you can say f*** and n*** in between it. Okay, I just want to just want to put that out there. Uh, so Ethan Ralph is uh, desperately trying to convince people he lives in Mexico. I'm not sure why. He's doing this gun hunt thing. Kiwi Farms and him have this back and forth. And he keeps, he keeps just posting and posting. You're never going to find me. This is a guy who said that uh, you're never going to track him down, by the way. That he's he's invincible. You can't find him. He's out there to hide and fucking seek with Ethan Ralph. So uh, the site owner, Graf, looks at uh, activity logs. These aren't even account logs. Looks at activity logs and finds one user that's looking at all the AHOG accounts that just so happens to be in Mexico within the area the area, the general area of all those uh, earthquakes. Which leads to one of two conclusions. It's either Dami Pesos has run from, uh, what is he, somewhere in South America, the Bolivian military, the Argentinian military, whatever country he's run for his life from, and is now in the middle of Mexico watching <laughs> watching people shit post on post, or Ethan Ralph has been discovered and confirmed to be in Mexico. Now, I'm not sure if that's true or not, but boy, is that funny. Are we going to get like a cartel oil barrel arc? <laughs> is he going to be found in an oil drum? Because I don't think uh, Ralph Amel mentality is going to fly too well down in rural Mexico. You know, where in the world is a uh, four-titted <laughs> pig? I don't know. But he is dumb as shit. So I, I, I think what's going to happen is eventually he's going to just fuck up and give away his location. I'm not sure exactly why he's so desperate to do this game, but he seems to be. It's it's very strange. I can't get into that mindset. I'd probably need a few bottles of gin and about uh, 800 pills to really do it. And I'd probably have to ingest a lot of shit. You may not have noticed either that Kino Casino last night, while talking about Ralph and his poop eating, got Ralph to go on a tirade, talking about how much he loves... He he actually said that he sat down with uh, pants or whatever and talked about poop eating. Sat down and talked about poop eating. He even wrote things down. This man is so obsessed with ingesting fecal matter that he will start random conversations with people to discuss his sex tape where he thumb-fucked a girl and then ate it like it was candy. Just imagine. Imagine overhearing this conversation in like a restaurant. It would be in English. You'd probably be a Spanish speaker. We're talking about Mexico. But just imagine you're sitting there in this fat gringo. <laughs> El Goblino de Americana is over there. And you're eating your burritos or whatever the fuck they eat down there. And there's Ethan Ralph going on and on and on about the taste of poop. He just can't help himself. Writing down the taste of poop, the smell of poop, the texture of poop. Talking about how he's justified in his poop habits. It's very fucking strange. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chat. Oh, we've got another Polly Frog here. Here's officially more money than Ralph has paid in child support for $10. And a Dr. Barlow's, even my favorite Irish potato farmer, Jim, 
have some shekels on me. Also, do you like the art I have commissioned of you as Johnny Silverhand? Well, I know the Groypers certainly didn't like it. They seem to have a bit of an autistic shit fit over it. I saw a lot of them crying like little fats, little fat tears. <laughs> little fat tears funded by little nick pennies. Crying over on, on Twitter.com about it. Seem to get it. Seem to get very upset. Thank you all for your oodles. Another oodle coming in. Welcome to it. I, I love the oodles. I love my Odyssey oodles. Boys, we've broken the 600 barrier. We're now 600 Andes. I'm a 600 Andy over here on Odyssey. <laughs> Is that Burger Planet level? Have I hit Burger Planet level? Or maybe Scuff Jim Carrey? I can't remember. I don't have the, the standing rankings anymore. Because I dropped out of watching IP and IP2 a long time ago. I mean, I know Andy Dick is out there butt-fucking people. And I know they got their crazy shit going on with giving everybody AIDS. But I haven't really watched the group. I don't even know really who's around anymore in the IP and IP2 sphere. So I don't know what the Andy rankings are. I mean, is Tommy, is Tommy still running from his mommy? That's about where I checked out. That kid's probably fucking dead. I mean, he was retarded, and I think schizophrenic. So he's probably dead, if I had to guess. Tommy's been buried by his mommy, is more than likely what's happened with that. I don't know if, like, Blade's foot has finally rotted off. I think his teeth are falling out now. I mean, that that is sicker than I am. And I'm actually sick. But, but body parts are just falling off his ass. <laughs> the, the one guy that ate hot sauce out of his wound... I mean, they do all sorts of fucked up shit out there. Oh, we got a dollar from Hyphen. Let me run to that money right away. Did you change your name your daddy gave you because Papa Jim would mercilessly beat you and Mama Jim, you got me. But now you've given it away, so I'll have to change the name again. Now I'm going to have to change it a second time. What are you doing? It's not very nerd nice of you. This is what we call it over here. When we're gentlemen to each other, we're being nerd nice. It's a three ends. It's a principled position over here on <laughs> on Odyssey. In fact, I think if you say nerd nice, they give you free oodles. I'll have to Yahoo email the devil uh, and double check on that. But I'm not I'm not 100% certain. Maximum fun posting. Have another oodle fragment for cyber smokes. How do you think AF will end up after Nick has been exposed as a homo? Will there be a meltdown like the American uh, Arini? Head after his Catholic followers called him out for joining a pagan cult. Now, are we talking about Arini? I know all the keyboard shortcuts, Arini, or a different one? Have I prayed to Moloch? Uh, not yet. Let me let me get to this question. Well, how do I think it's going to play out? I think Nick Fuentes wants to fire sale that shithole website. Those views are saying that as fuck. I've noticed he keeps putting on new uh, streamer names. Right, every week there's like a new person that's gonna stream there, but then they never stream there. I haven't seen Destiny stream there. I haven't seen Sneeko stream there. Uh, what do they have? They had uh, uh, Anthony Kumia was gonna do video game streams. He did like three Call of Duty streams that had maybe 20 people watching before he stuck the gun in his mouth and realized nobody cares anymore. I mean, maybe if he stuck to October, people would watch, but nobody wants to watch 90 year old Anthony Kumia. Talk about sucking tranny cock while he plays Call of Duty on Cozy. Well, except Nick Fuentes, because he loves tranny cock. They all do over there. They're crazy at Cozy for tranny cock. So what'll happen? I don't know. He'll try to sell the website and then uh, probably not do well at selling it. And then, I don't know, he'll try to spin it into a win. Maybe he'll take the $10 he'll get from selling the website to go buy a new fancy digital camera. So he can take uh, unsolicited uh, dick shots of Jaden while he sleeps. He'll be outside his window tapping. Let me in, Jaden. Jaden, are you awake? I need dick pics. Jaden, please. I don't feel too good, Bibble Bros, from Avir. Oh, I don't know what happened to Bibble. Now, somebody told me that he got uh, caught up in the, was it a typhoon, a hurricane? Whatever wrath of God that's been inflicted on Florida. And, uh, you know, part of his blood had made him go out and loot. But because Bibble's addicted, like majorly addicted to just drugs, he tried to rob a pharmacy and got arrested. You know, like how kindergarten kids will take um, 
uh, pixie sticks and snort them. Like, that's what he does with fentanyl suckers. He'll crush them up and snort them. That's how addicted he is. So there he was crushing up a fentanyl sucker at a, a pharmacy, uh, you know, pharmacy counter. And come the cops. They're like, freeze. The first thing Bevel said is, wait, you can't, you can't do this. I can't, I can't sneed. I'm black. And they're like, sir, we can clearly see you. You were a white man pretending to be black. And you were under arrest for snorting up fentanyl. And that's the last I heard of him. I don't know where he is now. Maybe he's rolling a D20 in cell block D. Trying not to get ass fucked by the real bros. I don't know. <laughs> JC Dutton, you're just jealous of Nick's Happy Meal toys. Well, I've always wanted a, a grimace-shaped uh, ass plug. You might be right. Those adult Happy Meal toys. I know I know. Nick is real happy about that. Got his rumper dumper all excited. Hyphen, God just wanted to play D&D with Bibble Diddy. Heartful. <laughs> oh, poor Bibble. Poor, poor Bibble. Living ambient. Man puts people to sleep. I don't know how he does it. Have you ever noticed everybody tunes out? Not just the hate watchers and the A-hogs, but like Ralph. Ralph will look at the wall. When Bibble's... To go, I'm not even kidding. Go watch a stream where Bibble's on and he starts talking. Ralph will literally look at a wall. He turns his head and just watches a wall. I don't know if he's hallucinating, if he's like, you know, counting dots or spots or divots, trying to come up with like the color scheme of it, you know, go, going all you, you lily on it. You know, that guy who's going to say that weird autistic guy with the color spectrum shit. Every time Bibble talks, he does that because nobody wants to listen to Bibble. Bibble doesn't want to listen to Bibble. I think that's why he stuck uh, pins in his ears to deafen himself. <laughs> so he didn't have to hear his own voice. They originally diagnosed him as a narcoleptic, but then Bibble figured out it was the sound of his own voice putting him to sleep. So he started wearing earmuffs. And he's like, holy shit, now I can stay awake. But he took the more serious and, you know, long-term approach of stabbing himself in the ears. So he never had to hear it again. Now it's inflicted on us. He won't shut the fuck up. Except he's in jail, I guess, for snorting fentanyl. I don't know. We're getting off track here. I don't want to get too cocky. We're still six eighty Andes. Okay. When we hit uh, 700 Andes, maybe we get a little more cocky. But we're still 680 Andes. This is fun. Yeah, I, I haven't really been able to interact with a chat like this in a while. Getting all these oodles. What do you spend oodles over here, uh, uh, by the way? Like, what's the currency for? Does it give me anything special? Does it? Does every half an oodle let me say one more time? Is that how this works? Because I just got five oodles from Avir. Take back from the Bibble of the world rise up. So, I mean, that means I, I said you're in that one, and I just said it again. So I got three more noodles left, two more left, because I got five oodles from Ovir. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody email the devil and get me an answer on this. I need an assistant. All right, if I'm going to do this over on Odyssey, I need an assistant who can email Satan every time I have a question for technical support on this website. <laughs> what was the email again? My Dark Lord at fucking Yahoo? <laughs> is it a, it's a GeoCity site, maybe? Was it GeoCity something? Is it a Cockley email? What what email? How do I reach out to Satan and get some tech support around here? What are these oodles spent on? Morningstar? Can you answer that? <laughs> Can somebody please contact the devil for me? Beelzebub! What am I spending my, my oodles over on here? You need to write up a, a better, more a meticulous plan so I know what I'm doing. 10,000 taco sauce. It's funny money. Currency can be used to promote your channel and videos. Nice. So I use the oodles to uh, uh, get people to spend more oodles? This sounds like a, sounds like a monetized free-to-play phone game. Or the obfuscate material shit. How many oodles can we put in the way so you can't figure out what the fuck's going on? It's commissary in hell. Have we figured that out? Originally, like, oh, okay, here we go. We've got an actual... Somebody's, somebody's giving me a legitimate answer. Uh, originally, it was a crypto was the only currency we could use here, but then they added cash. The crypto could be used to boost your content on this website. Picture paying to be pushed through the YouTube algorithm. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm spending my oodles on. Okay. And that was after they separated? Is that how it works? I'm, I'm taking a Moloch bucks. You know, fuck. I mean... 
we could call them that too. We'll have to come up with some cute satanic name for these these things. I bet Odyssey loves us right now. Wish that guy would shut the fuck up about that Moloch thing. God damn. I just like to say on this website too, okay? Odyssey staff, if you're listening, Ethan Ralph said he don't scare. He ain't scared of nothing. He'll publish any email he wants. He 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 ain't scared. He said, sue him, sue him, sue he. He ain't scared. He's going to publish those emails talking about the dark arts. Now, I don't know how you run your satanic cults, Odyssey, but where I'm from, we, we don't let fat people talk shit about us. So maybe you summon up some level five pitchfork devils. I don't fucking know what LARPing shit you're into. You can take care of that. You're letting a, fa- you're letting a fat, shit-eating alcoholic Make fun of your devil cult. Beelzebucks. There we go. There we go. We got a winner. The French tickler. Nicely done. Beelzebucks. I liked Oodles. We're going to go with Beelzebucks. Demons, demon dollars are good too, but Beelzebucks are better. That's what we're calling our Oodles. Beelzebucks. Now, how many of these Beelzebucks do I need to summon a succubus? Is something I'm going to have to ask X. I'll have to go to X and be like, how do I get um, big-titted, horned, horny chicks to come up from the pentagram on the floor? Because all that's happening right now is my dick is hard and the neighbors are looking at me strange. I've set out all my Beelzebucks in a circle. Literally, I bought a printer and printed them out one by one. And I would have 77.28 sheets of paper around this circle. Where's my demon whore? Odyssey. Julian, how do I get a demon whore? Come on. Who joins a satanic cult and you don't even got demon sluts? Where is this in the toss? You need to put this in the FAQ. Come on. I need to, I need to use my bills of bucks to get some, to get some uh, satanic pussy. Come on, Julian. Come on. I'm going to let Ralph talk shit about you. Six million Beelzebucks. I don't know, Chad. Now, I think... I don't, I'm don't. i seeing stickers. I don't know what the fucking stickers are for. Is that Epstein Island? Did somebody just put a fucking sticker of Epstein Island in here? <laughs> Did you spend your Beelzebucks on an Epstein sticker? <laughs> what, what, what kind of cult have we stumbled into? I just wanted fat little blobs. Fat little dancing blobs. But <laughs> we've got Epstein stickers? Oh, boy. <laughs> or is that, are you trying to, is this part of the ritual to get the succubus to come up and give me head? Is, do I have to go to Epstein Island and sacrifice my Beelzebucks? Is that where I have to go to do this? Maybe. Epstein wants on Coladad damage? I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're, we're at 730 Andes right now, chat. 730 Andes. That's not bad. You know, I, I, I advertise this just on post. And we're at 730 Andes. Isn't that right? That's like roughly around where Ralph is. I've now equaled one Ethan Ralph through the power of post. And all it took were some Beelzebucks, Epstein stickers. And talking about how Michael Alberto thinks they're all giant fucking cock-sucking fans at Cozy TV. That feels nice to say. I couldn't really talk about that on YouTube. I couldn't really say, you know, something like, Baked Alaska is a federal informant who will fuck everyone in the ass because he is literally a fan and figuratively one. <laughs> he wants to have half-naked tickle fights with people because he is a homosexual man. Like many of the people on Cozy are homosexual men that engage in homosexual activities. That Nick Fuentes is enamored with big old Nicks. <laughs> That's why he loves Kanye West. That's why he's he's just he's in that in that, in that he's into that shit. You see him do his little dance moves, his little Latino dance moves every time Kanye comes on. <laughs> Ethan Ralph is rubbed off on this motherfucker more than he knows. Lovely, just lovely. Now, do you think Baked, uh, baked uh, his federal informant, his handler, has brought him to Epstein Island? Do you think he's had the pleasure yet of flying out to Epstein Island to be briefed on how to turn people into the federal government? 
I'm not, I'm not sure. Thug Life stickers? Oh, boy, we got all sorts of fucking stickers. Now, Polyfrog is saying, Michael Alberto's in the chat. I'll know Michael Alberto's in the chat when he starts talking real hardcore racist shit. Okay, again, don't believe that MLP Lego shit. Michael Alberto is one of the most hardcore neo-Nazis you will ever fucking meet in your life. I talked to Michael Alberto once, and he said, and I quote, it's not going to be the day of the rope. It's going to be the day of the fist, because I'm going to beat every n*** to death myself. That is a quote from Michael Deep Cover Alberto. I was taken aback. I couldn't believe the man said that. The Wingnut King? Yes, he is. Michael Alberto said, he told me this in, in a private conversation, the Turner Diaries were kindergarten books compared to what he was going to do. Michael Alberto said that he has a list of the names of judges, and he just left it at that. There wasn't anything else he said after that, just that. No context, just Jim. Yeah, what's up, Michael? I just want you to know, I've made a list of the addresses of judges. Okay? And then he just left the conversation. I still don't know what Michael Alberto's up to, why he would say that. But he did. <laughs> now, you think, he's, you think it's all fun and games, and he wants to be part of our 750 Andy count. But no, he's watching. He's going through all your usernames and checking if they're white enough. You might not know this, but Michael Alberto actually wrote the script to every episode of Murdoch Murdoch. Crazy, isn't it? He's just all over there. Just out there, part of every community. You just never know when you're going to run into deep cover Michael Alberto. The man is dangerous. We have 106.94 Beelzebuck's. Tongue my anus. I don't know, Chattiest Thunder Fallias. Might be a little bit risky. Abel Petrol Huffing Hour, I hate the Antichrist. From the Unlucky Gamer, you're Irish, Jimmy. He hates you. That's true. That's why I never got too close to Michael. I let it slip that I was Irish. And all he, all he did, all caps in the chat was potato name, question mark, and then an emoji of a gun 742 times. And he typed it out slowly. It wasn't like he spammed it as one block of guns. He spent three and a half hours sending that to me. Just a random number and a random amount of time. He's a man full of rage. I hear the Lego sets that he builds are just trees for lynching. He just keeps buying the same tree set over and over again and tying little ropes around all the branches. And then he, he uses spray paint to, uh, to black all the figures, and then he hangs them from the tree deeply disturbed. I would be terrified if I was cozy if Michael Alberto was coming. Again, when you see him with the uh, the stream thing, Nick Fuentes is my bitch. Fuck that gay nigger. That's pure rage. That's pure rage. Again, he's not scared. The Alberto Commission will not be stopped. He's coming for him. <laughs> pure terrifying, terrifying shit. I don't see Michael Alberto typing in chat anymore. Maybe I shouldn't have let it out that he's making a list of judges. <laughs> maybe that was maybe I let that secret slip. I'm sorry, Michael. Please don't fucking kill me. All right. I mean, I know I'm going to be dead soon enough anyway, but Jesus, Michael, let me have the little bit of life left that I want. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty pretty nice over here. Triple sevens. Triple seven Andy. If that was a slot machine, I'd be happy. Nearing 800. Can we become an 800, Andy? I don't know. We haven't even gotten to the fun stuff. This is just a, a morning warm-up, really. Just just bounce back and forth with the chat to see how things go, see how this thing handles it. How the audio is, streaming capabilities, that kind of shit. We'll get into the Troon stuff. I'll introduce you to Uncle Bibby. Oh, I hope you're all ready for Uncle Bibby. And we got another one from Polly Frog. Uh, Michael Alberto, hero of the white race, super Aryan super soldier. Very true. And another Beelzebuck donation as well. Uh, would you talk to Michael Alberto on his stream? I heard he'll spill all the Alberto Commission secrets if you do. Well, Michael wanted me to go on stream with him. He actually asked me uh, again in one of his most recent streams. 
And I told him I would eventually stream with him in the future. If he please spared me and my family. Again, remember, he found out I was Irish. 742 gun emojis over three and a half hours. Fallen Angel. Jim, you're a n***er. Hopefully you get better, friend. Thank you for the point zero one Beelzebucks, Fallen Angel. Truly, you must be a devil, because you're cheap as fuck. What am I going to do with point zero one Beelzebucks? That won't even be like a pixel of a horn on a succubus. Right? I need a lot of these things to get these sluts to come up through the pentagram. <laughs> Where the fuck is my tech support for devil summoning? Maximum fun posting. Poo poo. Fart n sex come. Another question. Will the true problem solve itself like hipsters and emos did? Potentially. Potentially it will. Oh. Now, chat, I want you to understand something. We're going to be looking at some Twitter shit. Now, I want to, fair warning to everybody that's watching this morning. When it comes to Twitter shit, it's like Eldritch Horror. All right, you know, how the sausage is made, how all of that works. You need to understand. Uh, any damage incurred is completely, it's on you. It's your, it, the onus is on you. I'm going to show you some stuff. And this is probably your, this is going to be your reaction when you look at it. And I am not responsible. You can't sue me for this. When your eyes burst into fucking flames at the abominations we're going to be looking at. I love to say it's trans-tastic. <laughs> but, um, or maybe, should I, should I do Daddy Fuck Flu instead? It's really like a crossbreed between trans-tastic and Daddy Fuck Flu. But let me, let me open up our Twitter from Twitter Town, who's having a little trouble. It's a mouthful. If only I was like Nick Fuentes, I'd be able to handle a mouthful. He's always down on his knees with a mouthful. <laughs> he somehow mastered it. Let's talk about Uncle Bibby. This is uh, somebody that popped up in a thread on fucking 4chan of all places. And is now having a battle with 4chan. Always smart when you're a Twitter to have a fight with 4chan. <laughs> Let's talk about the transformation first. We're going to be looking through their YouTube and going over their vast video catalog. But let's, let's look at what uh, a few years of autism plus the internet will do to a man. <laughs> Here's our Twitter of the day from Trouble in Twitter Town. Uncle Bibby. On the left-hand side, a neck-bearded fedora. This is about nine to ten years ago. Autism is mainly kept in check. Mainly. Addicted to video games. Probably smells terrible. He's got a bit of a nose there. I know chat. I can already... I'm not even looking at chat right now, but I can guess what chat's saying about the nose nose. But he's very euphoric in that left picture. And then on the right, the transformation begins. A little bit of Twitter shine. Puts his hair up in some braids. And now we've got the world's prettiest lady. Mmm, delicious. What a sexy lady, chat. On a scale of one to five... <laughs> on a scale of one to five, uh, how fastly would you run away? Yeah, that's that's coming out for you. You run into uh, Uncle Bibby here, dressed as a pretty lady with those uh, pigtails. You better run fast, because there's probably going to be a sex offense committed by you, because you can't contain your horny levels. I understand it, Chad. It's a beautiful woman. Now, when Uncle Bibby was introduced to Pole, they'd gone through uh, this person's Tumblr account and Reddit account. We'll look at some of this, too, just to get an idea of who they are. And once reading this, I was just intrigued because it's just everything you'd ever want it to be. And then the YouTube account was everything you'd ever want it to be. So let's start with chocolate milk. Now I've got to, I've got to actually bring this up separately so I can read this along because it's just a little scribble on my screen. But let's take a look. Uh, this is their, yeah, this is the Reddit account. So, I mean, this is all interlinked. This, this Reddit account's linked to their YouTube and they've got like a Tumblr. It's all fucking put together. From Peter Mobeter. Neighbor threatened to call the police 90 seconds after meeting me for the first time. So I was standing on the street in front of my house at around 7.30 p.m. I moved here roughly a year ago. I live here with one or two of my support staff because I have autism, Tourette's, and OCD. <laughs> no, really? What? Are you... What? Is there... Is there... What? Is there a correlation? Some kind of connection, perhaps, between... Twitter. Being out and having mental disorders? No. That's impossible. 
Autism, Tourette's, and OCD. Two support staff living with them. And I noticed a woman was washing her car in front of her house, about seven doors down the block, across the street. I walked up to the road in front of her and said, Hi. She said hi back with a weird frown on her face. <laughs> Just picture on the right. The supporter. I just, <laughs> just to, it silently stalks you. No shoes or socks on, so they don't make any noise to say prounce, you know, like they're prowling down the street. And then you just hear in a Twitter voice, hi. And you're like, holy fuck, what is this? I said, I live just over there and pointed at my house. Are you washing your car? Yeah, she said. Cool, I said. Do you like chocolate milk? I asked. This is an icebreaker question I frequently use. It's a good tactic for meeting people. and <laughs> Sounds like a self-help. What, what's your icebreaker, man? I ask everybody I meet if they like chocolate milk because it's the least retarded thing I can think of. So here's this woman washing her car. And here comes this Twitter stalking her barefoot down the street. And then the first thing out of its mouth is, do you like chocolate milk? No, what I like is a shotgun with buckshot loaded into it. Get the fuck out of my way. She looked around. She looked behind herself. Finally, she said, if you don't leave, I'm calling the police. Dumbfounded, I replied, um, okay, okay, sorry, and walked away from her house. I was legit crying when I was talking about this with my support staff when I got back home. I'm actually crying a little right now. It's just, did she realize what she was threatening? The police can ruin someone's life! 48 uh, uh, exclamation marks. What did I even do? Did she think chocolate milk was a sexual innuendo or something? Just tell me to leave, please! And there they are on the right with these pigtails I'm just barely starting to pass. Oh, I don't think you're at barely yet. You look like a blind Jewish man accidentally put on his wife's clothes. That's what you look like. This is like a bad 80s comedy, and this is a character, and it's a blind Jewish man, has accidentally put on his wife's clothing. And that's the comedy, that's the joke, that's the laugh track, right? They don't realize they're not wearing man clothes. <laughs> Come walk up to him. Do you like chocolate milk? Is chocolate milk yummy? I mean, do you like chocolate milk? Oh, I bet you're screaming for the police. Just screaming for the police. Now, this is Uncle Bibby's, a great name, by the way, Uncle Bibby. Uncle Bibby still hasn't gotten around to change, whatever. Uh, artist and ex-composer diagnosed with Tourette syndrome, OCD, and autism, HRT since 9-11. <laughs> when the buildings fell, that's when I got on the Twitter juice. I knew it was time to cut my cock off and really, really celebrate this hollowed fucking day in American history, 9-11. By Twitter. Bring the fuck out. The Senate of Jewish Refugees and Settlers. She, it, it's properly, I can call Uncle Bibby it because it wants to be called it. I've been here so it gets a little not safe for work. Let's read a little, a little of the Reddit, their autism lunch, before we jump into the videos. Actually, let me, again, let me pull up the, the big version of this that I've actually titled Autism Lunch. NTs always assume I'll follow patterns of behavior based on what I'm doing saying in the present. Like I say to my support worker, why do they have a support worker? Is being trans now, do you need support workers? Like I say to my support worker, can we go to the Thai restaurant near my house today? He says no, which is totally fine. But then he says maybe next week. And this is all in caps. All in autistic screeching Twitter caps. I don't want to even imagine for a millisecond whether I'm capable of going next week. That's a completely different fucking proposition! I just wanted to know if I could go or couldn't go today. If I can't, end of story. Reset! Cut my dick off! Put baby back in the crib. God destroys the universe. Program finished. Don't bring up atomic bomb like let's go next week. I can't process it. I can barely process lungs breathing air. I'll give you another example. I say to my other support worker, because I have two of them. Hey, um, can you shake the milk in the jug a little before you pour it? With the lid still on, just makes it a little less stale when it's in the glass. And then I notice, again, all in caps, 
He's begun shaking the orange juice as well. He's shaking the milk and the orange juice before pouring it. Where did he get this idea? Orange juice doesn't need to be shaken. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Sorry if I'm a little angry. I'm on a new medication, and so far it ain't helping much. You don't say. Is it not? <laughs> is it not helping much? Is he, somebody in chat, is he LARPing Tourette's in text? I don't know what he's doing. I'm not sure what's, I'm not sure what's going on at Twitter town right now, folks. I, I couldn't tell you. Oh, oh, God, I hate when it does that. Let me, sorry, chat, I was trying to read, and then it just went away. Okay, I clearly am going to have to figure out how to work this shit a little better. Uh, from a racer for five, grab your Tommy gun and get in. We're going Prohibition Era Enforcement style on the Twitter. Shiners. Retarded for $5. Rambot loves trannies. Getting called out in chat. Oh, I got 287 Bielsa bucks. I saw 100 come in from Rant, and uh, I tried clicking on it, put me somewhere else. Very sad. Now, I see there's like a little like and a dislike bar here. And I've got three dislikes. And as this story tells you, there's one Twitter and two helpers. Folks, I think we have Uncle Bibby watching right now. I think our Twitter is actually watching live right now. And it and its handlers are not very happy. A little upset. A little upset about the uh, milk thing. It's also a hospital, <laughs> it's a hospital story. I've, I've titled this one Autism Hospital. Uh, surprise, who here spent time in a psych ward? Because of their rage attacks. I've been forcefully escorted to the hospital seven times since I was 12 years old due to a sudden explosive rage attacks. Just got home from my last one. There's got to be a better way. The damn things are involuntary. God knows I know how to do breathing techniques. Doesn't help when I just randomly turn into the Hulk. Makes me wonder if the turters, <laughs> turretters, turters, I like turters better. Makes me wonder if the Turners need a special legal category similar to the Innocent by Reason of Insanity Clause. We were born with this disorder, and we're taking our meds willingly. What else can we do? I live like a hermit just to avoid rage attacks, and it still ain't enough to convince me I wouldn't murder on a bad enough day. Now remember, that lady, washing her car out in the driveway in the suburbs. And here comes Uncle Bibby barefoot and dead silent, stalking down the street. And she's like, get the fuck away, I'm going to call the cops. And Bibby's like, why would you do that? I don't know. Maybe because you're the person who's publicly posting how you've had multiple uh, insane rage attacks and have had to have been <laughs> physically brought to the fucking psych ward. Also, always, always a great idea to tell people online that you're just uh, composed of nothing but rage and would murder on a bad enough day. Oh, Uncle Bibby. Our little Uncle Bibby. Let me <laughs> put the transformation picture back up. There we go. Oh, little trouble in Twitter town. Does he fill his faux tits with uh, chocolate milk? I don't know. Perhaps. Oh, <laughs> Emma Petrol Huffing R, what are you doing? Uh, he's at hyphening in the chat. I see you. Both my arms are going up your ass. Careful, Abo. Uh, there might be people from Cozy watching, and they're going to take that as like a promise, and it's going to turn them on when you start talking about shoving fists and arms up people's asses. Nick Fuentes literally has an erection right now because you've typed that out. Yes, Cyber 998. Twitter plus Jew plus Tourette's. That equals Uncle Bibby. That's the thing. He equals Uncle Bibby. Oh, we've got videos to look at, folks. We've got lots of videos. You're going to see when we look at this. Now, I have... Where? Where is it again? Oh, i got to get rid of Uncle Bibby here for a second. I have this. I've had this for since I did that tranny video, the I'm feeling fantastic thing. What you need to understand here, chat, is that Uncle Bibby uses something very similar. Instead of trans-tastic, they believe in trans-tistic pride. That's tran autistic. Trans tistic pride. I thought for a second this motherfucker was directly calling me out. <laughs> it's like there's no way. There's no way. But again, 12 years of this shit, a little hard for me to believe. 
that this is a, a deep op. So we're going to look. We're going to take a little fucking stroll down Uncle Bibby's YouTube videos. And I just want you to remember, as we do this, they are um, autistic, OCD, filled with rage, Jewish, and converted, and trans I should say converted, tr uh, transitioned into womanhood to celebrate 9-11. That's Uncle Bibby. Keep that in mind. OCD Tourette's rage be decided to become a Twitter to celebrate 9-11. It's the most American thing I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, it's the most two helpers living with them. Probably has rage attacks all the time. We saw a little bit of that with a caps lock. Tiny bit of that. Now, how did you do that? Ralph's big fat gun for one oodle. And it says removed. Now, did you remove that? Or did is there a forbidden word over here? I didn't even think about that. Is there a forbidden word on Odyssey we're not allowed to say? <laughs> I don't, did you discover it, Ralph's big fat gun? Did you discover the hidden fucking word, the secret? What, what word are we not allowed to say on Odyssey? Somebody needs to ask this motherfucker. No, it's not Twitter. If I can see Twitter, I'm seeing Twitter and Nick and Fat and all that shit. That's Twitter. That's all popping up. Yep, all of it. This motherfucker discovered a secret word we're not allowed to say, and I need to know what it is. <laughs> is it moon cricket? I don't even know what that's a slur for. What race is a moon cricket? But goddamn, it's a great term. Street, sh street shitter? No, that works. Uh, nope, those are all coming through. Or maybe I'm just fucking around and I want to chat to say horrifically uh, slanderous slurs just so I can read them on on stream and act uh, feign, feign ignorance. Feign ignorance to it, maybe? Moon Cricket. I don't know what that's from. God, that's great. Let me, I, I can, um, hold on. I'm just, I'm going to Google it. <laughs> Please tell me that's an actual racial slur. Oh my God, it is. A derogatory name for African Americans? Originally describing slaves as they got together at night and sing under the moon. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Fucking moon crickets? Where did you pull that gem from? I've never heard that. I've heard every racial slur you can imagine. I've never heard anybody call them moon crickets. I don't even think black people are aware they're called moon crickets. <laughs> oh, it's them getting together under the moonlight again. You know, them moon crickets love to sing. Moon cricket? What's a moon cricket? Oh, you know, the jigaboos. <laughs> oh, is, that, is that a recently invented one? Oh, we've got one from Abo Petrol Huffing our Stoop Hooter. See, I could get that, but Moon Cricket, I, I, for some reason, because Moon Runes, maybe? I thought it's going to be, like, Asian. It's like, okay, is Moon Cricket, like, some weird subcontinental Asian thing? I never, I never would have guessed it was black people. That's from Urban Dictionary. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> maybe the guy's trying to get it spread around. Did they give an example? Let's take a look. From August, whoever came up with the term moon cricket or entered the entry from 2017, here's what their uh, their use of it in a sentence was. I went down to Walmart today and saw at least 23 moon crickets. <laughs> oh, you know how they love hanging out at the fucking Walmart, those goddamn moon crickets. Oh, I don't think YouTube's even aware of that term. Can we sneak that one onto YouTube? Can we go on to videos and other live streams and just start talking about moon crickets? Just Moon Cricket 1350 and shit like that. And see if anybody picks up on it. What the fuck's a Moon Cricket? It is Jim's learning hour. We're learning quite a lot. Oh, it's fun. It's feeling like the stream me days. Moon Crickets rise up. I like it. You goddamn fucking Moon Crickets. I don't know if you could get Venom behind that. That's a hard one to get angry and then scream that at somebody. If you drove through the ghetto, if you drove through the ghetto, like and you're in Detroit and you're dressed up in your fucking clan outfit or, or neo-Nazi, I don't know. You just want to make it apparent you hate everyone. 
you roll down your window, there's a bunch of black guys standing on the corner. You stick your hooded head out, and you're like, you goddamn fucking moon crickets! And then you drive off. I think they're going to be like, what the fuck? What the fuck's a moon cricket? It's, it's, a, it's a hard one to really get an oomph behind. Somebody said, in prison, uh, moon crickets are called Canadians. Well, that's <laughs> it's good to know. Eleanor in chat saying, you can imagine Ralph saying that in anger? Michael Alberto, deep cover Michael Alberto. Jim taught me another new word. What the fuck is that word? You probably invented it, Michael. We know we know what's up, buddy. We talked about you earlier. You're a dangerous man. <laughs> Michael Moon Cricket Killer Alberto. In chat, try to pretend like he doesn't know what the fuck is up. That's why he's deep cover, boys. Moon Crickets is from the Old South? Holy shit, the Old South were pretty good at memeing. Is that like an old southern shit post? They're getting drunk on their whiskey on the plantation. They're like, what's the most fucked up, non offensive way we can say no? Moon cricket. All right, let's see if we can get Jethro to believe us. This sounds like something a bunch of rich plantation owners tried to convince their most retarded friend was the best racial slur. <laughs> I want you to imagine a bunch of fucking southern gentlemen, slave owners, going down to the their retard friend's plantation. It's like, dude, trust me. Stop calling them. Start calling them moon crickets. It's the hip new thing. Everybody's doing it. And then that asshole's the only one that uses that term. And they're always laughing about it. But now so much time has passed and history lost that story that we're left with this as an actual racial slur. Uh, somebody said Ralph is raging about Graf right now. Oh, of course. I'm sure. I'm sure he is. I'm, what, Ralph is raging about something every single day. Moon Man and Moon Crickets. God, did Moon Man ever do a Moon Cricket song? Fuck, he needs to. We need we need a Moon Cricket song by Moon Man. Oh. I'm sorry, I love that word. I love that term. I need I need a Moon Cricket song. I'm going to go on YouTube right now. Is there a Moon Cricket song? If I enter Moon oh my god, there are. There's a video from six years ago called I Am a I Am a Stupid Moon Cricket and Darky. There's a fucking video called I Am a Stupid Moon Cricket and Darky, and they're black. Is this real? Have we found the hidden term, chat? I think, oh, oh, you guys have to, okay, let me get, okay, we're going full in on this. You're going to love the intro. All right. You're not going to fucking believe this. How has this been up for six years? It's like, it's like a hidden term people don't know about. <laughs> you're kidding me. Okay, how can I do this? Is there a way for me to share? You're going to fucking love this. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so fucking excited. We found a hidden term. Where it lets you use the term in videos and nobody knows about it but us. And that fucking secret term is moon cricket. <laughs> okay. Uh, please work. Oh my god, it works. Here we go, chat. Buckle up. Woo! Oh, boys. We have liftoff. Oh, my little Beelzebucks boys. We have a fucking Moon Cricket liftoff. What an opener. Let's hear that again. Oh, no, it's not working. Why is it not working? Okay, hold on. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Something fucked up in my auto. I see you bitching in chat. I see you, I see you bitching in chat. I will fix this. Okay, let me... Let me see. Oh, I got so excited, I fucked all my technical stuff. You don't know how excited I am. All right, let's please pray it works. All right, here we go, chat. Third time's the charm. Hey, YouTube. My name is Nick, and today's topic is I'm a stupid n***. Why did you... <laughs> okay, chat, did you hear that? Did that come through for you, chat? Did that come through for you, chat? Just one more time. 
Hey YouTube, my name is Nick, and today's topic is I'm a stupid. N <laughs> <laughs> if you use the term moon cricket on fucking YouTube, it's just black dudes call. Hey chat, what what's going? What? <laughs> Did this dude come up with the moon cricket term? That almost fits with the timeline. I don't know what crazy shit he's gonna say. Let's. I'm intrigued. Why did God make me a? N I'm a dumb sack of shit. I'm a scumbag. I'm a moon cricket. N <laughs> what is going on, Chad? Chad, what is going on? <laughs> what is this video? N chirp at night like I'm a bitch ass nigga like I am. I'm a nigger with nappy hair and bug eyes and big nose and big lips. I'm a nigger and white people are better than me. Asian people are smarter than me. Mexicans work harder than me. Okay. <laughs> did Ranbot train somebody? Ranbot, is this your slave? Did you, did you, do you own a slave and you never told anybody? <laughs> this dude uploads a video called I'm a dumb fucking moon cricket and a darkie. And all it is, all it is, is him talking about how how he's terrible and white people are. But this is Ranbot Slave. We've discovered Ranbot Slave by accident through the term of fucking Moon Cricket. I'm a stupid ass n that ain't worth two cents. I'm a jungle bunny. I'm a jigaboo. I'm a spook. I'm a turd. I'm a pile of shit. And I'm a cow shit dung. N I'm a buster. N I hate myself. I hate my ugly features. I hate my buck teeth. I hate my grape sinking, my grape drinking soda, bitch ass. N like I somebody, somebody in chat said, "This is Bibble. Is this Bibble? Oh my God! Did we discover Bibble's secret fucking account?" I am. I hate who I am. I just like. I despise my ugly ass. I'm a lame. I'm a loser, and the world hates me. I should have been used. For stem cell research when I was in the womb. <laughs> I should have been aborted when I was on the umbilical cord. And I'm a loser, man. I'm a nappy headed beast. I'm a I'm a piss and I'm a shit boy. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh. oh. Oh what this is a this chat, we have discovered a magical term. We've discovered a magical term, moon cricket. It unlocks, it, it unlocks a treasure trove on fucking YouTube. Radbot talking about a slave. Uh, yes, uh, it's a YouTube gym. Play it, you moon cricket. Okay, let's see. What screen sits on my porch? My I can paint him whatever color I like. Stoop hooter. Oh my god. I'm gonna let you finish. Oh, we'll watch the rest, chat. But now I'm on an adventure. I'm on an adventure to find more moon crickets. <laughs> oh. There's an incel. Okay, wait, 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 wait. There's an entry in the incel wiki about him? What? His name is Baraka TV? Oh, on the one hand, I want to read what it says. But on the other hand, just the fact that there's something called the incel wiki makes me think that I'm going to be put on a watch list for this. Let me let me search this. Okay, let me, is there a cached version of this page so the FBI has to work a little harder? Yeah. Okay, uh, chat. I'm just gonna read it. I, I I won't throw it up, but it is on uh, on the Incel Wiki, of course. Uh, Baraka TV apparently is this gentleman's name. Oh, <laughs> he's dead. He was an autistic T TFLer, a part of the Black Incelosphere. Who is closely associated with Kent and Oreo Man? Oreo Man. Chat, what's going on? How deep does the moon cricket hole go? Why is Nicholas the Oreo related to a dead moon cricket? The Oreo Man. Baraka tends to hold opinions similar to Kent and Jamil the King when it comes to how black women act and what the dating scene is like. Uh, number one accuses black women of prefer thugs, pretty boys, and light skinned men over the average black man. Uh, believes men are, or women, are mainly attracted to men by their looks. If a man is ugly, it's lights out for him. Number three, true forced loneliness is real and they suffer from it. And then, that's the whole fucking entry, and then there's just death. <laughs> it says he hated women, was somehow involved with Nicholas DiOrio, 
And then death. Brock died on the 19th of September 2018. He committed suicide by setting himself on fire. His last tweet read, "Women find me all. <laughs> women will find me physically ugly." This motherfucker lit himself on fire. Why does it link to a YouTube video? Did he make a YouTube video of him burning himself? Rip. <laughs> it's a rip video. Oh, chat. We, we were going to talk about a, a, a fucking Twitter, but now we're in the moon cricket hole. Now we're in the moon cricket hole. There's no escape from the moon cricket hole. Yeah, we're going to play it all, chat. Welcome to Odyssey. If it was YouTube, we could never play it. But we're digging. We're digging for moon crickets, motherfuckers. Uh, somebody chat for point zero one Beelzebux. I met so many black men like this. Always blame us for not wanting to date their loser asses and prefer white. I, I th this I'm I'm blown away. Chat. Okay, my fellow little chud buds. What have we learned today? Michael Alberto is an unrepentant racist. Ranbot owned a slave, and Nicholas Diorio is somehow related to this man lighting himself on fire, according to the Incel Wiki. I don't know what Diorio did. But the Oreo man, as the wiki put it, must have put him on, must have put him on, <laughs> does the Oreo hunt people for sport? Is he, is that why he's after Flamenco now? After he got Baraka's soul by making him light himself on fire, he wants the soul of Flamenco? Is that the next trophy hunt? Oh, I'm getting scared. <laughs> Fucking ran, now he's a real black man. After lighting himself on fire, that's shameful, churlish of you to say that. Fucking moon cricket holes. <laughs> oh. I don't know, Rand. Did you get do you have insurance on that? Is that is that insurance for property damage or people damage? What 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 term pays out on that? Life insurance or property damage? <laughs> Fuck how does that work? Oh, this isn't good, Chad. I've been on Odyssey for an hour and I've become horribly racist. Oh my god, what's happening? I was such a gentleman on YouTube, and now it's Nick this, Nick that. Michael Alberta, what have you done to me? I blame Nicholas DiOrio, to be honest with you. I think he's just a bad influence. Kill this motherfucker. Unrepentantly. Now he wants the fucking blood of Flamenco. <laughs> what are we going to do, chat? Oh, I need to... Oh, we're, we're, we're going digging deep here. Okay, hold on. Let me Let me find something really quick. I know there's no way in hell this is going to be on YouTube, is it? Of course not. Fucking of course not. Where would I find it? Uh, if I try to play it on Odyssey, it's probably not going to work. I wanted to play like some music, have a quick little musical break. You know, something heartwarming. <laughs> something the whole fucking family can like. I think I found it, chat. I think I found a, a heartwarming, something the whole family can like sort of fucking song. Let me just get everything. <laughs> Let me get everything set up here. Really? <laughs> Try again. Hold on. Sorry, chat. One second. Oh, my God. It's going to. It's going to absolutely cock block me. And this was such a good little song, too. Okay, well, you know what? Fuck you. I guess I just wanted a Moon Man song for the break. Is that so much to ask for? Is that so, is that so, you know, is it, would it be on BitChute? Does BitChute have the balls to have Moon Man songs anymore? Probably not. It would probably replace with Barney songs. Okay, we, it says classic Moon Man. Okay. We're going to do a short little break. I'm going to get a drink, and then we're going down the Moon Cricket Hole. Don't go anywhere. All right, we have somebody that committed suicide because Nicholas DiOrio wanted to rob Rand of his property. That's the story I'm going with. I, I'm crafting a narrative here. We're narrative crafting about Moon Crickets. <laughs> oh, oh, chat, what... What is going on? All right. Short break time. Then we're going to come back and find out what Nicholas DiOrio did to Ranbot's property. Go get yourself a drink. I'm going to need one. Oh, boy.
It's a little blast from the past. We got a we got a twofer there. A fucking twofer. Right, let me see. <laughs> oh, how long has it been since I've been able to play fucking Moon Man on a stream? I'm sure right now in the headquarters in hell, uh, Beelzebub and uh, Lucifer and Julian are like, do we do we let him play this on our fucking on our, on our platform or do we not? He's sure bringing in a lot of oodles. This man is full of oodles. But do we let him just blatantly play the most racist auto-tune shit we can find? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we're at 1100 Andy. 1100 Andy. Oh, I'm hitting the big leagues now. Hitting the, hitting the big leagues now. It has been. It has been a long time. I can't wait to play more atrocious songs as we go forward. Have a lot of fun. Okay, let's get back to Baraka. We got a Rip Baraka video. Apparently his name was Nicholas. That was his real name. Oh, he's dead now. Can I get a, Can we get a Rip for our... Can, can we, <laughs> Jack, can you say Rip Little Moon Cricket? Can we get a, a moment of silence and a lot of Little Moon Cricket rips? Can we make a sticker of a Moon Cricket for every time we come across the dead dude from an incel fucking wiki? Rip my little moon cricket. Oh, the, you know, the real question, chat, as you all express your condolences for our dead boy here, is how can I put this on a t-shirt and sell it? <laughs> Do you think, is there a way I could sneak the term moon cricket on merchandise with nobody ever knowing? I feel like we're being so sneaky about our racism here. And are there terms for others? Are there secret racial slurs for other races we're all unaware of, like moon cricket? It's like a fucking adventure. <laughs> Rip in peace, my little moon cricket. Oh, they've got moon cricket emojis. Oh, that's fantastic. Rand is you're 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 donating so many oodles about your about your boy here. Rip my ass into Peter or in pieces. This is Peter Thiel's resort. You got a point zero one uh, oodle from Maximum Fun posting. Rip little moon cricket. You never scored with that out of the way. You now never, oh, you now have enough oodles to recreate every YouTube channel you ever had. How does it feel? It feels great. I love the fact that there's a moon emoji and a cricket emoji. No, this is fantastic. We can spam moon cricket on any fucking Odyssey stream and they'll never know what the hell's going on. We will get some moon cricket merch. Oh, yeah, let me, let me, uh, speaking of merch, let me whore it out there. Oh my God. Oh my god, run to the store. There are no moon cricket things for sale. There's other stuff. They're hats and shit. <laughs> I have to work on subtly getting moon cricket merchandise up. Yeah, just a picture of a cricket under the moon. They can't... I don't know what that means. It's just art. It's just art, man! Get off my ass! It's, just, it's just art. Alright, let's watch. I don't know what this video is going to be like. Could be shit. If it's shit, we'll go back to him talking about how terrible he is. Okay, let me pull it up. This is a rip in peace, my little moon cricket video. <laughs> why, why is it starting with a background report? It's this is this is how they okay. <laughs> they try to prove he's dead. Oh. Oh, is, did he? Holy shit, did he kill himself on a barbecue? Nicholas Moon Cricket McCrary lit a fucking barbecue up, dumped a Bible on it, and then threw his ass on the fucking grill. Oh, Randbot, it's Moon Cricket on a Barbie. That's how he did it. This is, there's no audio, by the way. I mean, I'm not, I'm not fucking that. There's no audio whatsoever. Is this a news story? Oh, it's an obituary. Let's read the obituary chat. Let's find out. Uh, McCrary, 29, uh, warehouse stalker, passed away the 19th in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Came into this world on a rainy, snow mix September afternoon in Anchorage, Alaska. It talks about his accomplishments, graduation. Fishing made him very happy. Loved to cook. Apparently he did. Cooked himself to death. How are you going to put that on somebody? How are you going to put that on a motherfucker's obituary? That is some cold-blooded shit. 
this family is awful. Look at that last paragraph. Imagine you have a family member that literally kills himself by lighting himself on fire. And you think you're being cute by saying this motherfucker loved to cook. <laughs> he loved to cook. We couldn't keep him away from the flames. Oh, I have so many fond memories of our boy. Love to cook. Absolutely love to cook. Oh, now I'm looking at chat. Oh, I've switched. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I went to the wrong thing. Stick there. I was looking at I was looking at my own window. The wrong window. This motherfucker loved to cook. What can I say? Our boy loved to cook. That's so mean. That's <laughs> so fucking mean. Okay, it's just there I, I, I'm a little disappointed. I thought this is like, you know, a, this is what the wiki cited as proof that he's dead. As somebody made an obituary saying the guy that lit him on so <laughs> the guy that lit himself on fire loved to cook. Former shot. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm gonna pull up his wiki for a second. Just look at what his profession is listed at. Rouse stalker. <laughs> former, former shopping cart. Our little, our little, our moon cricket. What? <laughs> Is that a way to say that they used him like a slave? When they ran out of actual shopping carts, they would make him act like the shit. Carry it to my car, moon cricket. Before I give you some petrol to light your ass on fire. And then write an obituary about it. About it. <laughs> He's literally a wage slave. This is actually quite a sad story. I'm becoming a little depressed about what happened to our boy here. Uh, I think we should let the original video play itself out, though. Shit. Let's see what else he had to say before he, before he cooked himself to death. I'm a L7. I'm a loser. I'm a spiteful, ugly... Oh, let me make sure I audio should be on. scared of me because I'm the worst of the oh, lowest man. I chirp like the moon creakers at night. When the, when the, when darkness comes, you can't see my ugly black ass. Females don't like my ugly black ass. I'm a stupid. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a now you know I gotta say, okay, uh, this guy was complaining quite a lot about black chicks. Now, I'm going to guess that maybe his pickup artist approach didn't work on them. Maybe, like, you know, if you're a black dude and you walk up to a black girl and you're like, Hey, I am a worthless chickaboo. <laughs> I am farm equipment. I am a moon cricket. Just a n She's probably going to be like, Yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> maybe you should go light your ass on fire in a barbecue, Mr. Shopping Cart. I hate who I am. I'm a spiteful bitch. My dad hates my old ugly ass. I got nappy ass hair with BBs in it. I'm a stupid <laughs> n And I've been cutting my arm open. And should have should have boarded my ass, man. I'm a stupid, I'm a lame, I'm a guy with Osberger syndrome. <laughs> this reminds me. Do you remember <coughs> Do you remember that bus video? Where uh uh, it's like the uh, crazy homeless white guy with a knife. And there's a couple of black dudes. And uh, they start shit with him. And he, he fucking gets one somehow. I can't, he fucks him up somehow. But in the background, they're screaming, call to ambulance. Ambulance. And this guy, listen to how he says uh, Asperger syndrome. I'm a lame. I'm a guy with Asperger syndrome. <laughs> what is that? Exactly. I'm a guy with Asperger syndrome. I work at Target. Minimum wage. I'm a typical stupid. N I need to pick cotton where I belong. I belong in the field. I'm a field. N and I'm a stupid. N I'm a loser. L7. I'm a. Are, are we getting fucked with? Like, do you think this guy was reading for the role of like Uncle Ruckus in season four of Boondocks? And some like one of his friends thought, oh, this is pretty good. Let me let me put it up on YouTube and tell everybody he's an incel that lit himself on fire. And nobody will ever know. Loser. I'm lo I ain't shit, and I ain't worth two cents. So you two friends, tell me how you feel about this video. I'm a stupid. I ain't shit. I ain't worth two cents. I'm worth. I'm worth half a penny. Well, uh, technically, 
technically right now, I'd say he's worth more than half a penny. How many oodles have we made while watching this particular video? Quite a lot more oodles coming in from Ammo Petrol Huffing Hour. Hey, look, I'm racist and all, but I don't like the self-abasement. This was a victim. I think this dude. I don't I don't know what's going on here. Well, are there more videos? Of, uh, comments are turned off, which is just... Uh, okay, we're going to take a look at this YouTube channel and see, are there more videos from him? No, it's just another dude. Okay, it's just, it's another dude entirely. Maybe it's like his friend and he re-uploaded some of this shit? I don't know. I'm just amazed Moon Cricket gave us a fucking result like that. Is this, <laughs> I don't know what this is. There's a video called Moon Cricket's Rapocalypse by DJ Merciless. And it looks like somebody made an animated version of the dude that killed himself by cooking himself. And the name of the account is Moon Crickets. I don't know what this is, chat. Moon Cricket. To the priest. Very merciless on the tracks. Merciless. They have little Moon Cricket symbols on their chest. Disciple, holding my Bible like a rifle. Shooting down religious idols. Israel's my title. Load up my shells. Given by Gabriel to Michael. Eating mice, my rivals. Babylonian Sea, we hold him in revival. Jebus like the devil, like his tribal. Life is like a cycle. What goes up comes down. That which left comes around. Where the cap, where the crown. Welcome back, where are they now? Welcome back, return from town. The prodigal son to his. Can I get a moon crickets rise up and chat? When you work on the power, chill, Rabba G, I got the power. You need a slight flower. We still live in the end hour. Duffy make up from Jamaica, black educator. Not a Drake impersonator, rap originator. Kill a priest, kill the beast. Peace to couple of sheep. 700 wives and 300 freaks. Genetically supreme, moon crickets and black jeans. Maroons to the truth, black melanin machines. Black like work, I kill a nigga. Shit, if not for rap, pulling bank heights and snatching all of it, yeah. Jazakallah, God, Gemstar, the Akbar, 2-5, Inshallah, don't get your face gone. Oh, okay, all right, all right. This, first of all, is fantastic. I'm sorry, this is actually really fucking good. Secondly, secondly, chat, I'm pretty sure that's the motherfucker that killed himself. <laughs> it looks, looks a lot like him. I don't know if this is like a fucking homage. Uh, I'm gonna, oh my God, it's nine minutes long. Oh, I just I want to restart it and listen to it. Chat, I'm going to let you... I'm, oh, fuck, I'm going to let you make the call. Should we listen to the hot fucking fire that is the Moon Cricket Rapocalypse by DJ motherfucking Merciless? The entire nine minutes, should we just let it play? I'll shut the fuck up and we'll just Moon Cricket out with this shit. I'm going to let you choose, chat. I'm going to let you choose. Everybody's loving the Moon Crickets. Have we found our, have we found our shit, chat? All those fans on Cozy listen to Kanye, boring ass emo Kanye. We're over here listening to the real n shit. Fucking moon crickets up in the house. Oh, everybody wants the moon cricket shit. I chat. I I'm very proud of you for choosing the fucking correct answer. For choosing the correct fuck. Let's just sit back and take in the moon crickets. I'm turning my mic off. We got eight minutes of moon crickets. Enjoy this hot fire. Moon Cricket, uh, yeah, to the priest, very merciless on the tracks, merciless, going all into this, how we go, love, yeah, I was disciple, holding my Bible like a rifle, shooting down religious idols, Israel's my title, load up my shells, given by Gabriel to Michael, eating mice my rivals, Babylonian see we hold him in revival, Jebus like the devil, like his tribal, life is like a cycle, what goes up comes down, that which left comes around, where the cap, where the crown, welcome back, where are they now, welcome back, return from town, the prodigal son to his father with hugs, the lion departed, now he's back with his cubs. When you was worked on the power, chill, Rabba G, I got the power, you need a slight flower, you still live in Glendower, Duffy make up from Jamaica, black educator, not a Drake impersonator, rap originator, kill a priest, kill the beast, peace. Supreme moon crickets and black jeans. Maroons to the truth, 
shit if not for rap Pulling bank heists and snatching all of it, yeah Jazakallah, God, Gemstar to Akbar 2-5, Inshallah, don't get your face scarred Salute and honor him, he gave birth to squadrons Deeper than the most in Tibet, wiser than Solomon A G militant, but yes, smoother than Sade is The bridge, graveyard blocks, killers and max prayers Exotic whips, Libya palace out in the Caymans, dangerous Like Shabazz in the window, pulling the curtain back I get it in, inside of me style, that's how I hurt the track Reverse it back, I'm bringing the pressure you be the first to crack Petty ass They all just looking for a person Snatch I thirst to rap Bringing the terror to all of Mercer's tracks Get cold, your argument ain't got no merit Blew the dust off the Marley pistol To go and shoot the sheriff Fred Hampton spirit With the warm marks of Rambo I step in the booth with an M60 S of camo famo I've been hot since Sonic came out with Sega Same time Capone was counting blood money with Noriega Scarborough bread where every nigga ride for that paper Boys got masks and a few blades like Vega. They ain't hot as this, they ain't got a pot to piss. I'm giving rap scholarships. Welcome to Rapocalypse. Ghost, kill you, then I meet you on the other side. Spirit world, sing your ass to D block lullaby. Yeah, the weed blow when the gunner flies. Older, but they acting like sons of mine. I'm one of the illest lyricists. My energy's like the tip of the pyramid. Telekinesis, the inner beast. The I need me a killer priest Cause my fury is sighted It's not blind So Luch, give me the Mac So Fury, give me the nine. Cross the line, become the dots On the bull high And get burnt like the blunt When it pulls right Leaving out the back door Hand on the fourth floor Driving home southpaw Closet like a Gucci store Rolls in the Viking And coke on the block I see through niggas Like hologram pocket Danny DeVito When he played the penguin I'm the rude boy I'm the gritty side out in And it's not in our lane. Uh -huh. These uh -huh. just stare. Uh -huh. I'm stronger than the bear. Uh -huh. And dread know the barrel come longer than his hair. Uh -huh. Diamonds on my wrist. Uh -huh. Yankee hat low. low. From my Canada niggas, I'm gonna let that shit go. Let me talk dead blood clot. I'm not dead bumper clot. Dead pussy clot. I'm not dead rascal clot. Me tell no dead blood clot. I'm not dead bumper clot. Dead pussy clot. I'm not dead rascal clot. Don't you? Who no go? 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 Is this, is this, what is this, it's just, I, uh, what, what is going on this morning? I'm sorry, no, I said I won't interrupt, but it's, what is this, I have to hear this again, it goes uh, from Rastafari, just, booga, booga, booga. it's a ooga booga, it's fucking ooga booga. Cartel of the teacher, but me and killer priest and Lord Fury are the jewelry when them call me for the teacher. Boom, Kingston, Jamaica, we not always from the beach, we from the street. I tell the people not to please like them, I eat that. On the pre that, my speech drop like tea back in the water where you're hundred and a decrease at them, we sing that in a B flat. Vegan when we eat that, not even wanna freeze, prag, get tree slap. Across the face, you pass the place of East Box. Jamaica where the breeze at, Toronto in the freeze box. New York where the streets pop, my mud it up like lease scratch. One zone I got my yard, they're wild in the yana. Where's the comfort of a bad man? No sell Sama. One but a bye 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 from out of the jana. Up in your pocket, you pay for the back your honor. Economic development, we move with intelligence. 100% black man, 100% melanin. Burn Babylon down, we escape from hell again. Riding on elephants, the guardian land warriors, all the rap gatekeepers. Never dream with sleepers, the mountaintop seekers. Spit them like they Malcolm X speeches. Moody masses like slaves on the beaches. Humans against creatures. Scientists study black features, but can't reach us. We live beyond the teachers. The valley of kings, the movement of all things. Agalog, repertoire, bars like a reservoir. The way the game is going, I should open up a seminar. Yo, the game is sabotage. They running that bullshit. 
you like a matador. They making ratchet music, but never go to war. I'm cooking up propane. Take my apron off. Red velvet, coming soon. Yeah, cake and all. Since an adolescent, man, I've been to fire. They threw me in a lion's den with none of This is the greatest shit I've ever heard. We're, I feel like I've been listening for an hour. We're six and a half minutes in. There needs to be a fucking duet. I need to hear Moon Crickets and Moon Man do a fucking rap battle. Not that gay epic rap battles of history shit. Where it's a Joker and fucking it. I want Moon Crickets and Moon Man. That's the hot shit fire we fucking need on the internet. This might be the greatest. There are 800 members of this fucking rap group, and every one of them has a verse. We got we got Rastafarians, fucking Africans from Nigeria going ooga booga, motherfuckers running around like the Predator. It's Cyberpunk 2077 shit shooting tripods. I don't know what the what the fuck is going on this morning, but I love it. I fucking love it. I want that duet. Let's listen to the last three minutes of this fucking song. I'm going to just put it out there. This is my new shit. It's like one, it's one song that's so long. It's like a whole fucking record on autoplay. That's nine moon cricket minutes of rap apocalypse produced by DJ fucking merciless. And yes, I did see people in chat say, did that motherfucker, <laughs> did these motherfuckers just rap, uh, <laughs> Cheeto phage into this? Yes. They had a mass effect lyric in there. We've discovered the nerdiest black men on the internet, and they've named their band Moon Crickets. There was Mech Warrior shit in there. There's Transformers shit in there. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how this. This is. I, I feel like we stumbled on magic. Do you know that there's only six point two thousand views, six thousand views on this fucking video, this work of fucking art, on the YouTube. The YouTube channel is called Fucking Moon Crickets. And it's only got 6.2k views. Uh, the most epic track ever. Never to be duplicated again in the history of mankind. This is Rapocalypse. 
Moon, <laughs> Moon Crickets Incorporated on Bandcamp. Oh, that's some good shit. I'm, let me let me just favorite this first, because I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose a precious moment of this fucking video. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh, Moon Man, Moon Crickets. A lot of moon shit going on. <laughs> Somebody in chat, I'll tell my children about Moon Cricket. I think we all will. Oh, my God. They have a 38-minute track. I don't know if we have... I don't know. That's going to blow the white boys out. All right, Mr. Metal Skull. I don't think we can handle that shit. All right, that nine minutes was arduous. Worth it, but arduous. That was, that was amazing. <laughs> so, somehow, we went from a Twitter cutting their dick off to celebrate 9-11 to a bunch of black dudes rapping about metal, <laughs> Mech Warrior who call themselves a racial slur that nobody's used for 200 years. And we did that in the span of about 25 minutes. Welcome to Odyssey. Welcome to Odyssey, where you go from Twitter, transitioning on 9-11 to Moon Crickets, rapping about Mech Warrior. Only on Odyssey. Can I get a Hail Satan in chat <laughs> for our boy Julian and his tech support here on this wonderful platform? I'm going to have to get that Yahoo email out and contact Moloch and tell him he's got some moon crickets to contact because I want this to be officially the theme song of this fucking platform. <laughs> Welcome to Odyssey. <laughs> oh, chat. We're currently at, we're at 1,300 uh, Andes right now. We're at 1,300 view Andy. Welcome. Welcome to Odyssey. Welcome to Moloch's Moon Cricket Army. Mol Moloch's Moon Cricket Army. Army Only here on Odyssey. Oh, what a stream. I, I don't, how you go from a... I, it's, yeah, so I'm trying to remember. I, I, maybe it's a cancer eating my brain. I'm trying to remember how do we go from Twitter. He's cutting their dicks off to a dude barbecuing himself to death to a racial slur music group with the hot fire that likes Mac Warrior and, uh, <clears throat> and uh, Mass Effect. I don't know. Only on Odyssey. I I see. I got those little. Uh, you know, maybe if I refresh chat here, it's 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 dying on me a little bit. Let me let me refresh. Hopefully, everything doesn't go tits up on me. It's gonna go tits up on me, isn't it? I think it just went tits up on me. Nope, things might things might <laughs> might have been a mistake on my part. Nope, I think we're okay. I think we're okay, chat. <clears throat> Trying to make sure I'm not missing people donating here. Here's your first monkey, Ran Lovesies. <laughs> Retarded for five bucks, Randbot loves trannies. Did I read that? Rambot, is that true? Do you love trannies? Somebody, somebody gave five full dollar dues to say that you did. Uh, Odyssey is slow to load. That, that That's probably true. But if we stick here at the 1300 Andy level, I think we'll be okay. I think I think we're going to be okay. All right. I've, I've bookmarked the moon crickets. I don't think I'm going to lose them. I'm going to be listening to that shit all day. You know when you get a song stuck in your head and you can't get it out? Like, it's just, it's fucking burrowed in there, and there's no way you're going to ever get it out of your head. I've now got nine minutes of the moon crickets rapping with a Rastafarian Nigerian man going ooga booga and ooey in the background. And I can't, it's, it's, it's wiggled, it's niggled its way in there, and I can't get it out, chat. I've, I've been hypnotized by the moon crickets, and they're fucking nine minute, uh, Rapocalypse track. 30 fucking plus minute track in there. Will I listen to it? Oh, I will. 
<laughs> playing Supreme Commander and uh, listening to the Moon Crickets this afternoon. That's my fucking day. Oh. I hope you're enjoying the 1488 stream, uh, 1488 Andy soon. Oh, will we get there? I don't know if we will. Uh, we're already 1370 Andy. I'm, I'm, you know, again, put it up on post. 1370 Andy, not bad, not bad. Now, uh, let's let's see. I, God, how do you go to? I feel like the Twitter gonna be disappointing now, and they're fucking insane. They cut their dick off. It's an autistic dude with rage who has Tourette's who. Well, I, I mean, jiggles his tits. His fat, deformed Twitter tits for us. Oh my God! There's a video called "Trying My Dog Walking Suit Out" and he's on all fours. Gah! No! <laughs> what kind of stream is it this morning? I don't know. Oh God! Everything about this is fucking just atrocious. But okay. All right, let's get into Uncle Bibble. <laughs> Uncle Bibby, I'm sorry. Uh, this might be Uncle Bibble. This could be Bibble. This might be Bibble. Uh, you know, I can't say definitively that we're not, we have not stumbled across Bibble's alternate account called Uncle Bibby. I can't say that because I don't know it. This could be Bibble. This is potentially what Bibble looks like and what Bibble does. But let's start delving into some of these videos to see how perfectly sane this person is because, of course, they are. It's called trying out my dog walking suit. Hello, I got this, I got <laughs> this, and I got this. Yeah, that's Bibble. This is my new mode of locomotion. I can. I'm a... I didn't know that Ollie Jamal was this fat and white. I guess is this Ollie Jamal? Sounds like him. Is this the gentleman that Ralph is going to be having a midlife crisis sleepover slumber party with? I think so. Um, Even has the knee pads for when Nick Fuentes shows up. Assume the position, yeah. fatty. Yep, that's that's a cozy boy. We found Bibble! I'll put that up here. This is what happens when you take hormones. This is what happens when you t t drink that Twitter juice. What in the fuck is this retard doing? what you think <laughs> chat what what do you think chat um they want to be the dog by the way now you might be thinking oh jim you're just you're you're goofing around you're being goofy why would you think they want to be a dog well there's a reason i think they want to be a dog and uh you're gonna find out right now you're gonna find out this very moment look at this beautiful woman <laughs> i guess is that all that shit on their face because they run around on all fours like a dog on the ground? Or is that the chocolate milk this person loves so much? Hi, my name's Paddy. This is my move list for if I was in a 2D fighting game. Inverted donkey kick. <laughs> Three hit kata. Bibble, what the fuck are you doing? He's got the fighting moves of Ralph. Tits are Ralph, too. Taker. <laughs> Can you hear the floor buckling? Spit jactile. Super combo. <laughs> The music really My ties ending it for if I beat the boss would be I use the prize money from the tournament to get myself surgically turned into a dog. <laughs> Autistic Twitter with threats and OCD transitioned on 9-11, cut their dick off to celebrate a terrorist attack, wants to become a dog. Bought knee pads and elbow pads and walks around as a dog. Got his face, his chin's torn to shit. Because it lives a life of a dog. It's a furry. It's a furry. There's no doubt this is a fucking furry. This is a furry Twitter. On their knees. 
Why don't they have a cozy channel? Michael Alberto, you're in chat, aren't you, Michael? Michael, why does this person not have a cozy chat? They'd fit right in. Don't even try to deny it. I'm not, I'm not, we're not watching another video until Michael Deep Cover Alberto responds to this. I know you're in chat, motherfucker. <laughs> why does this beautiful it not have their own fucking channel on cozy? I think we found somebody that can mend Nick's broken heart. I think uh, our Twitter goon here, Uncle Bibble, might be what uh, might be what they're looking for. Michael, don't dot 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 me with your little ellipses. This is clearly Catboy material. Uh, he came out, chat. There he is. He's fucking there. We all know he is. Michael, are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna bite the bullet on this? Here's how you get in good. I know you want to make the big bucks over on Cozy. This is what you do. I want you to mess. Okay, here's here's how we're gonna do it, Michael. I'm gonna make you a rich man. First off, let's let's again bring up just so everybody knows. Michael doesn't. He's not scared of Nick. <clears throat> Called him a homunculus. It was born from a turkey baster. All right, Michael. This is how you make the big bucks. I want you to message Nick on Telegram or Discord or whatever gay f shit this fucking homo hangs out on. You're gonna message Nick, and you can say, "Hey, this is how you're gonna open the conversation verbatim, Michael." Hey. F that's how you open the conversation, Michael. That's power in politics. Hey, f it. I found you a new boyfriend. And he's going to inevitably type back to you, and it doesn't matter what he types because it's in between tears and vomiting at McDonald's, Michael. Don't even listen. Hey, f it. I found you a new boyfriend. Her name is Uncle Bibble. And I think you need to meet this man at Ethan Ralph's Midlife Crisis Slumber Party at Ollie Jamal's house. Nick will be so impressed that you found him a new date. Somebody to replace Jaden, who just crushed this motherfucker. That he will... You're going to be the second man, Michael. For the Alberto Commission to get that inside information, to really get up top of the organization of what is going on in America first, Michael. You are going to set his ass up with Uncle Bibble. He's going to be so fucking thrilled. <laughs> so it's just... Kermit the Frog of Jet. God, Nick is such a fan. Well, that's what Michael said. <laughs> Fuck your heroes, Nick. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm waiting for Michael to respond. We'll get back to the videos in a second. I think it's foolproof plan, Michael. Come on. You can't tell me that this doesn't sound foolproof. It sounds foolproof to me. It's how you make the big boy bucks, Michael. Chat, can we encourage him? Can you all say, we believe in you, Moon Cricket Michael? Oh, there he is. What am I supposed... I told you what you need to fucking say, Michael Alberto. You message him and you open it and you literally say, hey, f I found you a new boyfriend. Meet him at Ollie Jamal's Midlife Crisis Slumber Party, hosted by Ethan Ralph. And when he says, who's Ali Jamal? Remind him it's a retard. We're going to the retard's house in Texas. And there's going to be a Twitter there that's going to ride your dick, Nick. That's what you tell him, Michael. You got him a new fucking boyfriend. It's on stream. Somebody's recorded it. Just, just type it out verbatim what I said. Look at how many people believe in you, Michael. Look at all the we believe in you moon cricket Michaels. That's the togetherness that we bring here. <laughs> and the seventh layer of hell, known as Odyssey. What am I supposed to type? You know what you need to type. Look at the screen, Moan Cricket Michael. Look at what you said to this man. That's what you typed in chat, Michael. Shut the fuck up, Nick. You're a test tube homunculus whose father is a turkey baster. Mike, do I need to remind you of the other things you did to this man? You told him to kill himself. You said, kill yourself, you f so I think you're I think you're brave enough, Michael. I don't think you're look what you named your stream. Nick Fuentes is my bitch, fuck that gay name. And then Mike, to top it off, you actually played this. Your headset. I'll come over there and slap your fucking dumper. It is oh true. I would tear your little uh, alright. <laughs> dumper up, big fat dumper. His big fat dumper. Mike Michael, you were playing this video. Uh, that you sent to me, and then, then, then you played on your stream. I'll come over there and slap your fucking dumper. It is That's true. I would tear.
Or a big fat dumper, which I'm gonna be spanking around. Uh, and I'm gonna fucking spank that little dumper. <laughs> okay, Michael, you you went like you even got you got Ethan Ralph to call Nick. Uh, did you see what Ethan called Nick after he watched your stream? Like you've turned the rage pig into a subordinate, Michael. You're on your way up. You actually got him to say this. Nick Fuentes, the eternal. Fa oh God damn it. There we go. You, you actually got him to say this. Sorry. Nick Flint has the eternal f There we go. So, Michael, I think you know what to say. I think, I think, I think he knows what to fucking say. They, everybody believes in you, Michael. Moon Cricket, Michael. Alberto, we all believe in you, Deep Cover. <laughs> what do I say? Listen to this guy. This guy. What a card. Try to pretend like he doesn't know. He knows. Oh, that's a big money donation. Somebody put $25 big boy points in the chat. And they want me to play this video because it's relevant. Now, if I click on this video, and it's dolphin porn. Oh, what is this video? <laughs> Why are, you, are you trying to... I, I can't play this video. Because I, what, I don't know if it's true. No, I can't uh, say otherwise that if people were to look at King Schlag's Super Chat where it links directly to it, that they shouldn't. It's called Andrew England's Father Admits to Being a Pedophile. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's true or not. Oh, you! everybody's trying to get... Guys, come on, wait a minute. The chat, chat, no, 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 no. The, see, uh, let me explain how this works. We're supposed to t we're supposed to fuck with Michael Alberto. See, we're supposed to get Michael Alberto involved in fights. We're not supposed to get Jim involved in fights. I'm already fighting half of Cozy. <laughs> I don't need Andrew Anglin as well. I've already got the Hobgoblin Beardson mad at me because I won't stop talking about his gas station goth girlfriend that he made up because he's sad and lonely his wife left him. I've got Dancing Dalton the Freemason mad at me because I said the looks like he grafted Jay Leno's chin on his fucking face. I got Ethan Ralph mad at me because I keep telling people and reminding them that he enjoys eating shit. I've got Nick Fuentes mad at me because he's a homosexual Twitter chasing fuck up that has destroyed a website because he because he doesn't know what he's doing. I've got uh, Baked Alaska mad at me because I've reminded everybody that he's a federal informant that will sell your ass up the river. All right, that's like, that's five homosexuals from Cozy that are mad right now. And you want to add a sixth to it? No, no. Michael Alberto can fight this fight. In fact, chat, we're going to come up with a story right now. It wasn't King Schlag that sent that super chat in. It was Michael Alberto. Michael Alberto sent me a fucking video link defaming Andrew England's father. Can you believe it? Chat, can you believe that Michael Alberto sent me a fucking link saying something? Michael Alberto called Andrew England's father a pedophile. Live in this chat. You all saw it. We all fucking saw it. Michael Alberto saying stop. No, Michael, you stop. <laughs> Michael Alberto is going to burn Cozy to the fucking ground. He just DM'd me. Michael Alberto just DM'd me on post, and he said total death sincerely michael albert i don't even know what that means are there even any black people on coast michael why are you why are you dming me total death <laughs> oh they're not gonna mike i don't think anybody's buying you legos from for christmas from cozy michael i think i think you've overstepped the line michael alberto <laughs> Moon Cricket Michael Alberto Total n death I don't know what this kid's up to Starting to scare me a little bit oh, Somebody in chat saying Another quote from Michael Alberto from Unlucky Gamer <clears throat> Michael is this true? Did you say anyone not a true Christian white is a n Michael Alberto did you say that? <laughs> Michael Race Alberto <laughs> Oh, my God. 1,400 people are here to witness Michael Alberto 
Thre- threatening Andrew Anglin. Can't believe he did it. It's another, it's another fucking link, this time for Polyfrog. Again, if it's dolphin porn, very... Okay, how is this... First off, how is this on YouTube? I, I don't know what this is. Well, you know what? Oh my god, no, I, I do know what this is. I've seen this before. I've seen it. You know what? I will play this during the stream, but I actually have seen this animation before. This would, this would actually, Polyfrog, you are correct. This would apply to our incel that literally lit himself on fire. Everybody's linking videos. To, I'm sure what's atrocious shit. I'm truding out. This might actually be relevant to what we're talking about. I'm truding out. Excellent song. Let me let me favorite that one. We're using that one again on stream. Oh my god! You know now that I think about it. Oh. Okay. Is there? Will I find this song? Oh my god! I don't know if I'll ever find this song again. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, that sucks. This is a good song. It's not going to let me find the song, is it? Oh, that sucks. Oh, let me see. Sorry, chat. I know you're like, what is he talking about? Just give me a second. Oh, I'm going to have to dig for it. I made an edit of it uh, a long time ago, and I played it on stream. Well, no, I should say I put it up as like a preview video, and I wanted to play it on stream, and I never got a chance to. And now I can't remember the name of the fucking song. Okay, let me let me see if I, because YouTube has to hide anything offensive, right? Can't can't let anybody use the no no word. Maybe if I look in history. Well, let me history search for the word. <laughs> Well, that brought up a very weird fucking result, but not the song I was looking for. Oh, come on. I'm so very mad right now that I can't find it. Ah, I fucking hate YouTube. You can't find shit. Everything's just fucked into the dirt. They just fuck it into the dirt. You remember when you could search on YouTube and find what you were looking for? If you used a term that was a little risky, or there's literally a song called It's Okay to Be a Fat, uh, and it's fantastic, but it's on like an account that's got like 3,000 subs, and it's hidden. There's no way to find it. It's avoided ever being struck or taken down for community violations. 
and I can't I can't find it to save my fucking life. I just I can't fucking stand it. I can't stand it. I want to watch suicide videos, car crash videos, fight videos. I want to listen to songs with edgy fucking words in them. All that shit's gone. And if you look for stuff that's not even edgy, if you just want to watch people fight or do dumb shit, it's all the fake fucking Mr. Beast videos. It's all the fake check mark or check mark accounts doing pranks. Like when I enter shot by a gun, I don't mean a Nerf gun and a fucking pool of jello. You fucking fat. I want to watch a motherfucker get shot, YouTube. But no, we can't. We can't let that happen. That's too. That's too much. It's not like it's in the kids section. It's not an Elsa and Spider Man video right next to it. You can't let me have that. You can't let me have my fucking uh, death and suicide and car crashes. You can't hide that off into a corner. You gotta remove that. Oh, totally real pranks. Yeah, I love the totally real pranks on YouTube fucking hate it and i know those motherfuckers i just they, they just uh, uh i'm sorry i'm spurging out a little bit here i gotta i gotta relax and take in that moon cricket energy chat i gotta take in that moon cricket energy and relax a little bit let's let's you know what let's watch another patty video let me find a good one <laughs> Oh, this fucking person. Yeah, this is a fantastic video. Why not? Why not? Hey, guys. I'm, I'm cat meow. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, oh God, I don't know how this fucking works. I hate these fucking new short vertical videos and uh, all the shit they do. Can't stand it. Can't fucking stand it. Okay, there's got to be a way to make this fucking... Of course not. No, it's not going to... I hate you. I hate YouTube so much. I hate YouTube so fucking much. It's just insufferable. It's fucking insufferable. Oh, there's a video called... Ah! Chat, what do we go with? There's a video called Pickle Time that's six minutes long where I'm pretty sure they're probably going to fillet a pickle. Or there's one called Patty Core where they're fat and half naked in front uh, in front of a electric keyboard. Are we going to watch the OCD autistic dick cutting Twitter that is also a furry who's probably bibble suck pickles or sit around with her tits out playing an electric piano, which is it going to be chat? Which are we going to go with? What horror story? What nightmare shit would you like to watch next? Remember, if your discretion is advised, proceed at your own risk. Not my fault if you watch a Twitter, suck a pickle, or play the electric uh, keyboard with their fat, floppy fucking tits out. Oh, uh, I see somebody saying they want patty core. Oh, it's kind of split. I'm going to be honest with you. Twitter. Pickles, patty core. We'll watch both. We'll watch both. It was a trap. I, tra I tricked you. Chat, fuck you. I tricked you. You're watching both. We're starting with patty core, though. Oh, God, what a great angle. I'm a real woman. That's why I don't shave my armpits. Is that baby talk? Or what? I don't know what they're doing. Are they having a rage? <laughs> Are they having a rage attack? By the way, they have two government helpers. This is what your tax dollars go to. Watch this and remember this fat, autistic, prone to rage Twitter that celebrates 9-11 by cutting their dick off and is a furry, and is probably Bibble, has two paid government workers sit around and help them as their fat, titted ass that doesn't shave their armpits pretends to be a girl and plays the electric keyboard while gobbling and gurgling like a baby.
welcome to the ninth circle of hell. <laughs> okay, it's it's pickle time. Oh, let's see. Where's the pickle video? Come on, pickle video! 53, it's time for pickle. It's time for the pickles! Oi, it's pickle time! Fun fact, this is how rabbis practice before they go to a bris. <laughs> they chew on some kosher pickles so they can get that bite down just perfect. <clears throat> see, I haven't taken enough estrogen to be muscleless. I'm still a muscle woman. I'm not a regular muscleless woman. It's not perfectly crunchy, but it's crunchy enough. <laughs> God. Oh, I love I love the autistic sway. <laughs> Crying time. I gotta have the curvy one. You know I gotta have that curve. You know it. Oh look, we call those uh, Ethan Ralph pickles. Can you guess why? You know it. I gotta bite the dark bumpy end first. Sounds like an Ethan Ralph sex tape now. Mm-hmm. That's where Crunch is. That's where Crunch lives. It's Crunch Town. Crash Bandicoot. Crunch Bundy Pants. Oh my god, this is what this is what Twitter is due to a person's mind. A classic lack of classic. Alright, this dude. This dude was making fighting game manuals and being a fedora lord like eight years ago. And then he spends one minute in Discord. And now he's wearing a bra, sucking pickles, and wants to be a dog. That's what happened. One minute in Discord will do a lot of fucking shit to your head. All right. <laughs> oh, Uncle Bibble. What, what the fuck? There's so oh, there's so many videos. There's so many videos of this motherfucker. There's a video called I'm not even going to spoil it. I'm just going I'm not even going to let you see the title. I'm just going to play it. Let's see what the audio says. Is this the home of Patty Locke? Yes. You took a blood test 3 weeks ago, correct? Yes. The blood test showed that your DNA is not human, so we'll be shipping your possessions off to a warehouse in Ottawa. Is this the home of... The video is called My DNA Results Summon the Feds. I think, I think maybe the feds showed up for a different reason. I'm getting an inkling maybe there was some shit going around. I don't know. Oh, there's a video called Try Not My Girl Voice. Death is like when you're watching a video on your smartphone called... The universe. But then your smartphone dies. So you frantically go to plug it in to charge it. So then you go to see the video again. Uh, uh, is, is, our, is our boy Uncle Bibble catfishing people on the internet? It might be. Might be. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, chat. Yeah, I'm just playing the audio because they're the stupid little short videos. And when you try to, like, get it to fucking show the video, it auto scrolls down to the next one because everything has to be a TikTok now. It's got to be 20 seconds long and uh, filmed fucking vertically because YouTube hates you. So that's what, that's what we're dealing with. I think it might be Bibble. I think, we, well, chat, uh, <laughs> I, I kind of like it here. I don't know if, I, I mean, I, I think this is going to work for, you know, Medicare in the mornings. I think this is going to work okay. 
uh, I don't know. I'll probably get a, a return email from Satan at Yahoo, maybe asking me, <laughs> asking me to go a little, a little easier on the moon crickets. Maybe we got so close to 1488 chat. We got to 1466. So close. We're so close. We're just, we're, we're right at the cusp of it, right at the cusp of four, you know, 1488 would have played us out on a moon man song. We're so fucking close. But I'll just be stuck at a 1467 Andy. Couldn't even do 1488. Boomer Jim fucking it up. Couldn't even. Can't, somebody open 22 tabs. And make it a 1488 while we fucking close this out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think we could do Acer Thorn here. I think we can do a lot of things here. Chat. Already, We already got, you know, we, we went from dancing puddings on Stream Me to moon cricket emojis on Odyssey. That works for me. I'm happy with that. I can I can live with that. We we learned a lot today. Found a new rap group nobody knew about. Found a terrifying Twitter with weird shit all over their YouTube. Learned that Michael Alberto is a killing machine that hates everyone that isn't pure white with a Bavarian fucking uh, phenotype or whatever it is. We've learned a lot. It's been an educational morning. Some of you are going to walk away. Uh, never heard. Never having heard Moon Cricket before, and now you know. And now you know. Somebody chat, how's your health, Jim? I won't die happy without another video. Uh, I'm not doing video series anymore. My health is shit. Uh, but this does bring me joy. I mean, I learned a, a man barbecued himself to death, and his family hated him so much that in the, in the obituary, they said he loved to cook. They said he loved to cook. Who has a family member that kills themselves by lighting themselves, self-immolates, and then they, they say he loved to cook. The man loved his barbecues. Oh, body cam shows fatal shooting a man throwing rocks at Phoenix officers? Yes. Yes, we can watch that. Let's watch a man get shot, chat. Oh, perfect. Graphic violence. Love it. Sure the audio is good here. Apparently, was this a, a displaced Palestinian throwing rocks thinking that would work? Drop it! Put it down now! <laughs> okay, let's analyze this tactical assault on a police officer's chat. First off, uh, throwing a rock, uh, bringing a rock to, you know how they say don't bring a knife to a gunfight? Even below that level would be a rock. Don't bring a rock to a gunfight. Now, I'm not sure. Was he displaced Palestinian? Is he reenacting a Gaza Strip struggle? I'm not sure what was going on there. Let's let's tactically look at this tactical assault and uh, see, see. Let's see what happened here. Drop it! Uh, you can see him winding up. He's going to wily coyote that shit right at the cop. He's, he's getting ready. He actually, look at this. Look at his arm. He's pointing at the officer. He's cocking the rock back. And then he's pointing at him like, hey, you. This rock is coming right at you. And then he throws it. And he misses. And then he's shot to death. He lost. I think he lost that one, chat. I don't think, I don't think this guy won. Chat, I think, I think he might have fucking lost that one. <laughs> Points at the cop. It's coming right at you. It's a yes. You're right. He's calling it out like the babe would. It's a home run right at your head, copper. Boom, headshot. That man lived five seconds. What have we learned? If you attack a cop with a rock, you've got about five seconds until you're dead. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Yes, he he lost that confrontation. Cops one, Palestinians zero. Maybe if he had used some magical moon cricket moves, he might have he might have survived it. Sadly, he did not. He's dead. <laughs> Rip archive channels. Are you sir? First off, sir, anti bully. Nice name. Um, I don't think any of this stream is going to make it on a YouTube archive channel. I'm trying to imagine how many bleeps and bloops you'd need to put into this fucking stream to make it actually show up on a YouTube archive channel. It, none of the songs we've played can show up on the archive channel. 
like 40 minutes of moon crickets and Twitter talk won't show up on that. Uh, Michael Alberto threatening to murder and destroy anyone that's not white is not going to show up on that. It would literally be five minutes of the opening song. And then uh, me saying, hey, everybody, have a good, have a good day. And then everybody on YouTube is going to be like, God, what the fuck kind of stream was that? It was five minutes long. There's nothing. What are they doing over at Odyssey? It's a five minute stream. I don't think, uh, yeah, it's not going to, it uh, take it down in a heartbeat. Yeah, I think, I think that's going to, oh yeah, Kill All Pedals is going to love this one. Oh boy, what, what sound clips can we get from Jim? <laughs> Part two is going to be nothing but me screaming moon crickets. <laughs> it's going to be me driving through Detroit screaming moon crickets at people. Did you know, did you know Jim back in 2016 drove around Detroit screaming moon crickets at people? Do you even know what that is? He's psychotic. He has a death wish. You saw he rated it 10 out of 10. It means, he, it means he agrees. It means it's true. Just just flipping off black people screaming moon crickets talking about death and Palestinians. Listen to the sound clips. It's true. Oh. I, I'm still upset I don't have my... I can't find this song. God, this pisses me off so much. It was such a good song. I really wanted to use it as a playout song. I really, really did. Oh, you know what? Maybe if I... Let me try a, a roundabout way. Ah, uh, no. You know what? Okay, fuck it. Fuck it. Well, uh... Okay, let me let me think. How will I do this? How will I do this? What positive song can we go out on? Sorry, Chad. I'm I'm trying to find the perfect, the perfect ending song, for this uh, uh, inaugural, <laughs> this inaugural uh, mornings with Medicare. But I need to find the perfect one. Not will it work this time. Yes, it will. Okay. All right, chat. I found our intro or our outro. Outro, our outro song. Couldn't find the one I wanted. Sad fucking day. I think you'll like it. It's a catchy little tune. Again, it's another video that isn't up on YouTube. But it's a, it's a nice little jingle. We'll end the stream with that. I hope you all have a good day. I think our test stream went well. We'll uh, try another one next Saturday. Uh, couldn't get to 1488. Sad. Sad that I couldn't become a 1488 Andy. Whatever. Live and learn. Live and learn. But um, we will try again next Saturday. Thank you all for coming. And uh, let's play it out with a happy, fun time, good-natured, good morning song. <laughs>